I dyed my hair red. Who did? What? Also, the person nice. that was honking outside of my house was my mom. <laughs> oh, of all people. <laughs> yeah, apparently she. I guess I had my phone on silent. She was trying to text me. She's like, "You awake? Are you? Are you there? Are you home?" I didn't see you come in you all right? when I was hitting all of those buttons to make this thing happen. Just like... <laughs> it's a great song, we... Just in the jazz. Oh. You have the stuff we can't hear currently? Oh, yes. You have, like, the street... Yeah. Oh. That shit that plays for the first half an hour until it loops again? <laughs> the first half an hour until it loops again. Let's get some Nintendo lo-fi up in here. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You have the best like, channel music, dude. Even uh, Sam was just like, this is what is this is just like the, the sports. This is the Wii. This is the <laughs> Wii Sports. <laughs> this is the Wii it has taken me a long time to pin down exactly what music I can play without getting copywritten and have a good like stream feel. And it's like mm-hmm. it's Nintendo it, music. Nintendo lo-fi. Oh man. It doesn't have to be lo-fi at this point. It's just it's literally just Wii Sports 10 hours. <laughs> and then like the, what is it? Cor- Cornea, Cornea theme or whatever mm-hmm. from Star Fox starts playing. Yeah. Which is a lot more aggressive if anybody remembers that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> I had a, I had funky Nintendo music playing one stream. That was my favorite. Yeah. I'm going to keep playing that one. Like for a while. walking bass lines and everything. Mm-hmm. What's up, everybody? This is Worst Enemies, episode 15. Special special guest host today, our boy, Sauce Hefe, in the house. Fuck What's yeah, up, new camera. Don't care, new overlay. Oh, man, Sauce Hefe, what you been doing, boy? I've been pew, sleeping. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> I've been just sleeping. I just woke up, like, uh, an hour ago, so. Got my camera in the mail, set it up, That's hopped in here. sick, dude. You look great, by the way. Thank you. So do you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, he's dying. Hang on. Somebody help him. I need to change my lighting, though. I like Tristan's lighting. Uh, He's definitely got, like, some higher Kelvin bulbs going on. I just mm-hmm. got some yellow boys, and I look like a, I look like I crawled out of a booze bottle. You know what my favorite part about the intro was? Are you just drinking coffee the whole time? No, I just wasn't a part of it. <laughs> That's fine. You normally do, like, I'll, I'll do an intro, and then you'll just be like, and that intro sucked, so here's my intro. So. <laughs> well, I'm not going to. Chris Corey. Well, you actually, you did an intro this time, so I'm like, dude, you you did it. You did an intro. I'm Full trying. Intro. I'm trying. I'm getting yeah, there. I know. I see it. I hate I intros, see you, boy. but, you know, this is where we, like, do plugs. You just, just like, hey, man, uh, check out Jeffy over at twitch.tv slash ljeffy. It's me. It's it's him. He's here. Chris Corey in chat too. <clears throat> oh, and fucking check out Chris Corey, man. Oh, yeah, check out all these wonderful. Chris Corey was here with oh, yeah. me at fucking three a.m. while I'm Chrono in the Cross. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. You boys. Oh man, boys support boys. That was oh, a, yeah, I was. That was I a was, hype raid. That was fucking awesome, dude. I'm just like I'm just I'm just gonna play Chrono Cross until somebody notices me. Oh, you're still Go check here. out Chris Corey, yo. It was, oh my God, it was was it Yano? If Yano's still here, Yano's like, I went to work and came back, <laughs> and you're still. And you were still streaming. <laughs> like, yes, make me feel like more of a loser. Did you did a casual 14 hour stream? What the hell are you doing? <laughs> oh, is that a thing? Is that not like that was 15 and seven minutes? What? It's like that. No, see, that's the thing. What we did in the beginning when we first started yeah. doing this, yeah. Elliot, was super unnatural for twitch we were going 10 or more hours yeah. like every Our day we would was, stream. my record was 13 something well yeah, I, it's got it's got longer and longer and longer and longer and it was just it to the to the one point we're just like um it's gonna it's go it'd be like have, five in the morning and it's like life to do <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. Don't, I don't have a lot of real, between okay weekends for me we are, don't feel bad about that weekends for me are busy uh Tuesdays and Fridays are busy because of the show, but there's a chunk of time where I'm just like, it's 
Oh man, it's potpourri. Anything goes. <laughs> I feel you. My my longest stream was twelve hours, and it was I did a twelve hour charity stream back in November. So you had a and, purpose and a point. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I was like I was like, you know what? We're going to not stream for twelve hours every day and we're just gonna we're streaming for three hours, four days a week, and then <clears throat> I was like, "That's because like something something I learned like very odd because like at first I started out I was streaming like five six days a week, oh, like yeah. for three four hours a day, Ooh. and I loved it. I was like, "Oh, this is great!" <laughs> but I was getting out. like, yeah, I was like getting like one average viewer, and oh, I yeah. was like, "Well, this kind of sucks," you know. I was like. Uh, I was again like one two. It was under three because I wasn't affiliate yet. Do you guys? And then I yeah. I lowered it. It was quality. Okay. It was quality over quantity right. at some point. Mm -hmm. Where I was like, I gotta stop doing this. I did that thing <laughs> where it's like I'm just gonna do this all the time. Oh man, like they want me to hit like this many days. I'll fuck double it. And everyone's like, Hey, you're gonna burn yourself out. I'm like, No, I'm not. And then I burnt myself hey. out for all of December and did nothing and everyone's like i just we fucking came out of nowhere in january like who's this asshole like i've been here since september <laughs> <laughs> i've been here i've done been here boys i did that thing where like christmas was <laughs> sad like christmas, you were listening to i did Liam. that thing where christmas was sad <laughs> what the fuck? and that's the episode title <laughs> oh. it's like that's just every it's year though that's every... It's just Elliot staring into the camera, listening to Wham on repeat <laughs> for like days fucking the whole day. Days. Now we drink champagne when we Thursday. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, we're all last Christmas he gave you his hot. We were all sleep deprived. Whatever. We're like fart. <laughs> he gave me a fart. <sighs> we are sleep deprived. I got, deprived. It, I got right. it at Target. You want this? I really like that mug. I'm gonna break into your house. This one? Yeah. That, that is a good mug, yeah. Bro, uh, you can get it, like, it's at the local, this is funny, because it's Michigan, right? It's at the local uh, Crepe, which uh, should never, doesn't really exist in the U.S. a lot. It's a crepe place. What's everyone drinking? Water. Coffee. Water? I've already had two cups of coffee, two of these, and I didn't want to get another cup, so. Ooh, let's get more specific. What, what kind of coffee are we drinking? It was some maple thing that Sam left here. And then... <laughs> it doesn't even have a break. It was something with maple in it. I don't know. That, what it's lo that looks like a hospital like piss like container. I know, that's exactly <laughs> what I thought. That's exactly By what the it end is. of this, this will be yellow. I empty I it like out, to monitor. and then I fill it up. <laughs> and then I boil it. I don't trust my wa my my water nope. coming from anywhere it, but me. It still smells like the cucumber water I made in it. Because I need to like actually wash it and not just rinse it out. But I make some good cucumber water. Nice. Sounds bougie, but like, hey, I need to get electrolytes without eating things or having sugar. So that's that sounds way better than penny water. What's in penny water? Pennies? Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's exactly smells, and I imagine tastes like pennies. My God. You ever heard that before? I heard. Okay, I heard this this account of uh, what um, quote unquote dick tastes like. Right? Yeah, we're going there. And they were like, it's like hot dog and hot dogs and penny water. And I'm like, what? No, I heard that I was in France when this happened. Coffee from Grand Rapids. Not. Oh, because you were in France when you heard this? had a wall. <laughs> it was in France when I heard this. Coffee. That's coffee. Okay, Sam's tell telling me what it is. It's but not the brand. So thanks. <laughs> I was so it, I I super don't believe that anybody in France said that. <laughs> that's, that's because it, that's because yeah, it was somebody good. who went with me. That's the thing. Like, oh, okay. It was yeah, a filthy it, American that said. Yeah, it, it was a filthy France. American. And and then like just imagine like the no. the backdrop. It's all pretty. Hot it's dog. near Italy. It's wonderful. And then someone's uh, just like, it tastes like hot dogs. Guys, me. guys, we're gonna have fifty goddamn stream titles today. Like we had five I before we the started. First one I suggested. It was good. I already forgot the first one. I should write them all down, but. We're going Hot with the yeah. see, see, no, we'll, see, we'll, see we'll scramble. Fight. We'll do the scrambling uh, messages after the after the stream. And be like, oh, what was that joke <clears throat> we said? What was should, that? Isn't there like <laughs> yeah? What was? Isn't there a winner feature in slobs or streamlabs spots? I can just pick a winner at arbitrarily, and then like that there... person can then name the t the episode. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, there's like or a, that could be yeah. a, that could be you a point. You have to go reward. activate it through Cloudbot. Uh, yeah, I have the chat bot because I have like 
I don't know how to upload sounds to Cloudbot, Cloudbot yet because I haven't taken more than five minutes to oh, look at it. You can't. You can't. Okay, cool. I have the right one then. Yeah, the uh, Streamlabs chatbot, whatever. Hey everybody, this is how the show gets made. We're gonna talk about it every episode. We're also gonna <laughs> talk about like Twitch politics and uh, money. So <laughs> this is what our lives are now. What else are we gonna talk about? Farts? Oh yeah. Yeah. Man. Oh, man. Or are we gonna talk about what I just fucking dropped on everybody? Like... You ever, you ever like, you ever have a fart that smells exactly like carne asada? <laughs> <laughs> It's Only when I eat carne to... asada. Yeah, I, exactly. I had I had Fruit Loops. I had Fruit Loops. I don't know. <laughs> My body just makes carne asada smell. So I noticed Talent. something. Uh, somebody somebody came in stream and talked about like the fact that was wa Waffle Crisp is back or something because like they discontinued it for a while, right? And uh, they asked me, uh, yeah, they the Waffle the Crisp, the, the cereal, okay. right? And uh, they asked me, they're like, do you prefer Fruity Pebbles or um, Cocoa Pebbles? And I'm just like, Fruity Pebbles, even though I know that it only is or artificial orange flavoring. I kid you not. That's all it is. Oh. Yeah. Seriously. If you like, mm -hmm. uh, if you have like a orange like sponge cake or something like, <clears throat> or you have like a, a pound cake that's made with like sun kissed or something, tastes exactly the same. So those, those, it's just colored. What does do you tricks know? use then? I don't know because it's not the same flavor. Because it's not. Here's like, the thing. Uh, in my line of work, um, I have product that always smells exactly like Trix cereal. Mm. Exactly like fruity fucking breakfast cereal, and I'm like, how? like, 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 uh, but also like, like but also like skunk and ass. <laughs> But whenever, whenever, you, whenever, <laughs> whenever you sell it, do you say silly, uh, silly I, buyer? I don't, silly I don't, <laughs> hey, I don't, you shut your mouth. I don't sell anything. I don't sell anything. It's Dylan's here. Guys, do you know what Dylan, getting adopted in chess means? Hey, uh, Jeffy, you can take this. You wanted to talk about chess. Yeah, I watch, uh, I watch, uh, Daniel Nariadiski. Yeah. I've watched him try to adopt the Botez twins. Yeah. I, I just watched a little boy get his shit pushed in by a fucking Russian guy. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a great video. Dude, those, a, you shouldn't watch that shit. That's weird. With a, <laughs> you should watch so they, the way they edited it was uh, like... The, it like, was live, too. The way they did it was like the guy was like, okay, hey, I challenged you to chess, little boy, but also I don't know how to play chess, so I got this guy. And when they edited it, it like they put this like Russian imperial music that then became like... Um, uh, Bloodborne. What's the other one? Demon Souls. Dark Souls. Oh, uh, Dark Souls. Dark Souls music. Where like, and then they put the little overlay of like a boss fight thing, and then like the little boy crying, just Bobby. Uh, yeah, but, the kid only had six Estus flasks. He wasn't they, gonna win that but one. But they cut it together. He cried after he lost, not before the guy came out. Like, oh, like, so they made it like he was crying because like the one came... of the fucking grandmasters is walking out to challenge this It's a great, kid. it's a great fucking, it's a great thing because like the kid is three and he studied this Russian dude's book, right? He studied all the moves and everything and the Russian dude's just like, okay, now if I do this, what do you do? And the boy's like, D uh, this one to this one. I don't know fucking any of this. It's all moon runes to me. Uh, and the, you can see like the dude is like a proud dad. Like this kid's three. He's going to be chess god someday. Yeah, he's gonna be chess god. Like I hope he like yeah. tutors that boy. That was such a cool, like heartwarming. Yeah, and then when he loses, he, he, like he's like running to the edge of the stage looking for his mom. Oh. Where do I get Russian TV boys I, on live television? Oh kid yeah, you know, like like this little kid. Oh, it was the best. He's in a little suit. <laughs> the suit's the best part. How 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 funny are like children's like suits? <laughs> I had to wear one when I was like in third I mean, grade, hopefully, like, and it was not... like it was like it was like the clip-on tie that's like this long. This long, it's yeah. Hopefully, not your last suit, because. And, D and Dylan's right. Uh, but getting adopted means that you win against somebody ten times in a row. You assert your dominance over them so fucking bad that you just you just own you just I'd own them now. Think... It's, it's like a way of saying pwned or owned. I think or in chess. I think I would have a custody dispute. I think too many people would be. <laughs> Who, who owns me? <laughs> Who's my daddy? Where do I go to? Who's my weekends? chest daddy? <laughs> what, how, what does he it's do? It's me. <clears throat> it's me. Man, I just get bounced around like a fucking... Like a fucking... I, I'm terrible at chess, but I, I can do pretty well in Go, but not chess. Nice. Played a lot more Go. I'm good I, at uh, checkers. I like, I like chess a lot. I suck at checkers. I have one checker strategy, and if you find out what I'm doing, you can beat me. 
Is it, the, is it is it the one where you create the funnel? Kind of sort of. They have to go in. Yeah. Kind of sort of. Yeah. I just don't. You don't move your back row as long as possible, and then you really like my like. I gotta get the sides because now you're like unjumpable. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Just, it's not like a wall. You have like yeah the, the funnel. That's it. Checkers is so goddamn frustrating. <laughs> I hate it. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> it's like when you have sisters it's, it's, that it's, just <laughs> you have sisters that like just a, beat your ass in any board game. <laughs> yeah. It's like hour. It's like an hour of just pure frustration. It's like move your goddamn back row. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I, I I I get so mad at checkers. I'm like. Now, I just wasted an hour of my life playing one game of checkers. And now, how do you play? Like, do you do like you have to jump or you don't have to jump? Because I prefer don't have to jump. Oh yeah, you. I mean, oh uh, yeah, don't have to jump. Obviously, yeah. What well, am I, some kind of animal? <clears throat> and then, like, does anybody know the tic tac toe strategy? The tic tac toe strategy? Yeah. No. Dude, just I always wish... get the middle square. Um, no, middle square because middle squares middle is last. Like, you don't need the middle. You gotta get three corners, so then you have two possible wins. So they go to block you, and you still have another way to win. Gotcha. So you get like, yeah, you get three mm. corners. Um, yeah, then you're unblockable. But you have to go first. And if they know what you're doing, it's 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 defeatable. But it, most people fall for it. It's really great. Yeah. Uh. Anyway. <laughs> so adopted in chess. That's. Yeah. If people can be double adopted and even triple adopted, where you win twenty or thirty times against How them. Do you, why would Whose you, house do I know to go to? Like at do, the end of the day. Who do you? How do you? Who do you? How do you? How do you uh, what, like why would you keep going that far? I don't know. I mean, it's like, I don't know. It's it's like whenever you. Uh, Not winning well, I mean, one. It's it's like my <laughs> it's like my wife. Like we play chess together sometimes, and she gets so frustrated that she always loses, but she like she wants to play. But then she gets mad that she loses, so she stops playing. So then she never really improves. And then mm. it, it's like a continual cycle. It, I, I explained it to her on stream the other night where it's like, we used to play Mario Kart together, like a whole bunch. And it was like, she was so good. She got so good at Mario Kart because like, I just kept kicking her ass at Mario Kart. That's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, and it's just like she was like, "Oh God!" I'm like, "Yeah." So whenever you turn that corner, do you want to like boost and take that shortcut? Man, and I would because like I'm not a sore winner at all. I'm not like, "Hey, eh, fuck you, suck it." You know, it's like I'll beat you, and I'll never tell you my secrets. I'm like, "Oh yeah, there's shortcuts galore here, and oh, you yeah. can do this." And I prefer that kind of. You're making each other better. Yeah, exactly. But she still gets mad. <laughs> she still gets. She's was, so mad. She's so competitive. Good. I was good when we Mario Kart was the thing, right? And I had one strategy, and then I played like new Switch Mario Kart, and it didn't fucking work. And I'm like, this, <laughs> this sucks. My strategy was like, you used to just be able to be like super heavy. You just get the heaviest car, you get the heaviest character, and the, like the best like traction or whatever, best turning. And you could yeah, literally you just, just you just plow people off of the fucking. You could drift like a son of a bitch, but then you could just knock people off the course. And like that doesn't work anymore. And I got real, I got sad. I don't know. They still have weight and stuff in Mario Kart. It's there, but it doesn't have the same effect. True, yeah. No, not like the old <laughs> ones, yeah. I'm always Dry Bones Bowser with the little wheels, the red, little red oh, wheels. Yeah. I was always, always like, yeah. I was like in a Wario, Wario car with like uh, DK or Bowser. Oh yeah, you're the you're the pink Cadillac. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> love it. Just like I'm, I'm slow always, as I'm always DK on I'm a slow on a motorcycle. As dick, but if I could knock you out of first. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's something about DK on a motorcycle that I love. Just oh. a tiny little dirt bike. <laughs> I like I like Funky Kong on the motorcycle. <laughs> Funky Kong. <laughs> Is it like man? The... I'm so sad. Funky Kong got taken out of Mario Kart. Oh, is that his, man. his cousin? Yeah, uh, from the from the show. What a weird yeah. fucking show, you guys. <laughs> like, it is. Like, what was the goal to get the crystal coconut? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was even a rap in it too. Oh my god. There was and like, then like there's chunky. You watch those <laughs> yeah, shows. Chunky. He did. There's the the one thing like the animation's <laughs> fine, but like the one thing I notice is like they didn't understand shading. <clears throat> yeah. No, so no. go go look at reboot like uh Remember that show reboot? Uh I don't think that is it Canadian series? But, oh my god, it's that. Yes, that yeah, monster factory. Yes. Okay, here it is on the Dear on the God. Like these actually have shading, but I watched it and like 
why is why does why does this look so plastic and weird because there's just oh. no there was no like actual scene shading hey, hey maybe uh make sure your safe search is on before you scroll down we're good okay <laughs> just okay. checking because I, I i did see like in the in the <laughs> suggested pictures there was just a character from that in a bikini oh <laughs> well, of fine. course well that was the ca- like that's all she wore <laughs> Yeah, but then there's this thing called rule rule thirty four. So I was like, oh, uh, you there was another uh, there was another show that was exactly like that called Cubics. If anybody remembers that, oh yeah, I do with know. the robot. <clears throat> right, that was newer though. That was significantly newer. Reboot was reboot was two thousand, and they're like, hey man, we're rebooting reboot, and it's awful. We just got like it's not even the same thing. We just put kids in it. Uh, I was kids... gonna say it shouldn't be newer. It's two thousand one. Okay. Well, it's a different company then. Yeah, it's it's well, <clears throat> it's also uh it was a way different style. It was way less uh like stiff. Yeah, it uh <clears throat> it was a South Korean company and then um four kids took it over. Okay. Man, and that that fucking cube robot changed into anything. Yes, that was the big thing. What are, like what are the weirdest things? Like Metabots like made sense. Like, of course, I got this little robot, and we're gonna fight him, right? Like, well, that's... of course, we're gonna Pokemon any any small thing. But fucking Pokemon, right? Yeah, Beyblades. Like, it's literally just any fucking any fucking like dirt poor <clears throat> like Asian back alley thing you can make. Mo- like, we got rats with knives. <laughs> we we knife got Beyblades. You, you remember knife rats? Yeah, that dude. was a that was a show. We got. Like, um, oh my god! Why was we it... had biker mice from Mars. That was one of my favorites. Oh my god! So how about like uh, how about we do like a, a kids show that's just all cockfights, but like but we don't we don't we don't lean into the cockfight thing. It's like it's chicken wrestling, and they're all like they're all like lucha libre. <laughs> Is it like I'll ultimate muscle, muscle but with chickens? <laughs> yeah, but more way more Hispanic, way more like. Uh... Okay, I was gonna say because I remember yeah, yeah, ultimate yeah. muscle. We're gonna like, completely uh... lean into it though. Oh gosh, what was that? What was that? Uh, what was that show? It was a, it was a Cartoon Network show. It was about luchadors. Uh, mucha lucha. Oh, mucha lucha. Yeah. Mucha lucha. Yes, yes. That was the big that, heads. Yeah. The yeah. flea. The flea. Yeah, the flea. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I re- yeah, I remember that. I that was a show that was on for like two minutes and then it never came on again. Oh, that was a, <laughs> yeah, that was a weird. That's another weird one. Like, look at how weirdly stylized they were. Yeah, they were like. Oh, yeah. Oh man, it wasn't quite. Oh. Well, there there was the one guy. Um, oh gosh, Chibi. he made he made Samurai Jack. He made uh, oh, Dexter's Gendry. Laboratory. Gendry. Yeah. yeah, I can't say his last name, but Gendry. Nara Ta- Tapa Kapakowski. Yeah, yeah, something like I'll that. Look it up. Like some Russian name, but I've... he, I love all of his shows. Oh yeah, every single have one seen, of his shows. Have you seen Primal? God damn these. Huh? Have you seen Primal? I have not. Go look it up. You're gonna go look it up. I, I felt like Hank Hill there for a minute. Go. Go Bobby. look it up. Go look it up. Do I look like I know what a JPEG is? <laughs> drag and drop. Con, Primal... you, Con, you put MP3s on watch. You drag and drop. What is it? What, what is it called? It's just Gendry, Gendry, whatever's. Oh, I oh get his name wrong uh, Gendy, Gendy, by the way. Gendy. Yeah, Gendy Tartakovsky. G- Gendry's from Game of Thrones, my bad. That's okay. Tartakovsky. Primal. Oh, oh wait, I I've seen I, I I've never watched this, but I but I know this art. I, I've I've check it out. I'm I've not gonna I'm not gonna influence before. you one way or the other. I want your honest opinion. Sure thing. Because sure I mean, I oh, watched it on HBO Max. I, I just don't. Watch it. I don't want to. I guess I don't want to like poison the well. Okay. Okay. Don't. Yeah. Don't poison me, please. I don't I mean, have I have, I have, a, I have an opinion, but I don't want to. You know what I mean? I will watch it. And I will not. Well, actually, I probably won't watch it for like six months, and then I will watch it, and then. Well, uh, Siri, I don't have any Apple products. Remind me, six months. <laughs> I'm so bad about watching. I don't know about you guys. Is it? Let me ask you guys this. Okay. Is there a form of media that just falls through the cracks that you just are not caught up on at all? Because for uh, me, it's television and movies yep. and anime. Same. I have I have all the tabs open of things that I need to check out. And like links that I found and people sent me, I still have um, Jujutsu Kaisen open that Dylan told me to watch oh, like geez. a month ago, and I'm like, someday I'm gonna watch it. someday I, uh, I'm gonna get time to watch a, se- a whole season of something. I have this incredibly, incredibly bad habit of starting a TV show, 
and, I know and where like, this is going. yeah, and just stopping <laughs> about halfway through the first season, and then just being like, "Oh man, that's so good! So, I need to continue watching that." And then right. there's just one day. It, it was like it was like the last time you ever picked up as a child. It's like you never knew that this was the last time you were ever going to be picked you, up. You, Dylan, I want. I just, <laughs> Dylan, I believe you. There's just so many <laughs> other Dylan, things. I I want to watch it. I really do. I found it's all subtitled though, so I gotta like I, I can't have my attention three different ways. Mm-hmm. Like, well, uh... well, also, also like, we're Twitch streamers. Like, I watch a lot of Twitch and I watch a lot yeah. of YouTube. Like, I don't watch a shit ton of TV anymore. I like, have a YouTube problem. <laughs> yeah, me too. I have a terrible YouTube problem. Tristan, that's like how that's long my is... main source of entertainment. How long is your watch later list? This my is, watch later list? No, uh, not you, Tristan. I was going to ask, Tristan, how long is my watch later list? Because you know, but I want to know how long Jeffy's watch later list is. I think I have about 900 videos on it. Oh, jeez! Oh, shit! You, you, s- got, you got Elliot bit beat there. By Wait, 700. Let me, let me check. Let me by check 700? <laughs> I, and and I, I, I and may I've, be wrong. I may be okay, wrong. Okay, my list takes two days to watch, and that's with no, me no, skimming. Sorry. sorry, sorry. 387. Oh, that's... I'll get up to like 260 and it's like, okay, this is going to take two days with skimming. And it's like, it's like stuff that I know I just want to kind of look at and then, you know what I mean? Like, I don't need to well, see the whole thing. Well, most of the shit I'm, I'm like, I add it to the watch later list and then I'll watch it. Cause I have like four different YouTube accounts. Mm-hmm. That, I got three. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sad face. I'm down to 108. <laughs> yeah. I had to, when I, when I started Twitch streaming, I'm just like, I'm going to go through my subscriptions uh, the Drewski's here. Yo, up, Drewski. So you're doing well. I'm just like, I gotta go through my subscriptions. Anything that I'm not like, if I'm not adding it to my watch later, I'm just dropping it. I've had yeah. like over 200 subscriptions for so long. Mm-hmm. I used to watch a shit ton of Game Grumps. Oh yeah, same. I have not watched them in a long time. I try to catch them, but it's like they've they've switched their format. So they did three 10 minute to 15 minutes a day. Now they're mm-hmm. doing one thirty to 45 minute. And it's like, I got yeah. I got to be invested in the game or whatever. Yeah, exactly. And I, I just don't I just they're, they're not discoverable for me anymore. Like I never get suggested their videos anymore. I mean, it's in my subscription, really? so I see it like whenever they post. But uh, yeah, like I, I miss, rarely see it. I miss Grump Out and COVID killed Grump Out. Like that mm-hmm. was the, that was the good content. They're moving over to ripping off Good Mythical Morning, which I would love to do. <laughs> to, to rip off Good Mythical Morning. Yeah, I mean, I hate I hate Rhett and Link, but that's a great format. That's a you solid... hate Rhett and Link? Oh yeah, they're they're tool bags. What did they do before that? They, oh, they're like, tool bags. Didn't they like actually do videos before that, and then they found an easy format to keep copying? Well, they, well, they were mean... doing they were doing, like music and stuff. They were doing yeah. parodies. So and... that happens yeah, they... like you well, learn you realize that that doesn't make money anymore, and then you do an easy thing. So like I was talking about Chad Bader, they actually made a show, a watchable good TV show, and it's like, well, this doesn't make money. So now they do board games. Uh, I don't yeah. even know what retarded policeman's up to. <laughs> Thanks, Drewski. Uh, Elliot made it. Thank you. I really yeah, it's all him. him. Look at these it, it assholes. Is. It, it was all him. Do you hate Rhett and Link? Uh, they're doing advertisements for firms early on. Oh. Why do you hate them? I mean, I guess they, they have this weird, like, this. they have that YouTube tinge for sure. And there's I've noticed a Twitch tinge as well. Where it's like, this person is filtered through this lens. Like, they, they can only act yeah. this way. Uh, it's not as bad as newscaster lens, but it's getting there. Yeah, I, I definitely feel that. I feel like that they are they are stuck in like one one thing now. But like like you said before, they didn't used to be like this. And I, I used to watch a lot of Rhett and Link because I because I do enjoy their content. But it's like after I've watched so much of it, it's like I saw this episode like, uh, about half a year ago. Don't like, this is like the same thing they just did. Don't let me like, yuck your yum because like it just I I have a high bar for what I'm gonna spend my time watching. I guess. No, it's either, I, I it's know. Either I gonna completely be, understand. It's gonna be either complete like dog shit nonsense or it's gonna be like something that matters. Um, but mm-hmm. like my ex would just watch Good Mythical Morning like nonstop to the point where like we went on this just deep dive. It was just playing on the TV all day, and it's like this is solid content. But like there's something off about these two. Yeah, 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 because you can just easily watch. Because I same thing. Like me and Andrea, we would just we would just sit there and do that. 
to work the most, which is Same the thing. most companies do, right? Like, yeah, there's a very corporate thing to it. Like, um, they've yeah, they have like thirty them. employees now. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like, something. I mean, I still like like Linus Tech Tips, and I like I like some of the big stuff, but I I mean, I like more of a raw personal feel to things. I like people. I like to see how the sausage is made. I like people who are unfiltered and unscripted. Mm-hmm. Um, not reality TV. <laughs> Because that's the most filtered and scripted. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. God, I cannot stand reality TV. But that's I realize like that's what YouTube kind of is, but it doesn't have that that corporate filter. It's like, hey, I just made this thing. Do you like it? Yeah. Like and Dylan, and Dylan, right. That's the same reason why Valve hasn't made a game in ages because Steam just Steam is their cash cow. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. why and the it's, fuck it's, would we put in any at effort? Duke Nukem. Anything. It's not going to deliver. There's no way that Half Life Three delivers. Well, Half Life Alex technically is Half Life Three, right? But did it deliver? Nobody, I don't know. I didn't. Feel, I didn't play it because I don't own the fucking Steam VR shit. So. Exactly. I mean, <laughs> I'm like, so go fuck yourself, Steam. I don't want to play that shit. Oh man, I don't even. I didn't even watch you, anybody play it. You heard it here, like, Valve. Go fuck yourself, El, El Jeffy, 2021. Take that, pew, 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 pew. I need that stupid horn. Maybe I'll fucking open up the fart box. <laughs> The what? I got a soundboard thing. It's basically just a fart box. Oh, it's just it's just like several different buttons. And you guys won't be able to hear it, parts. but where's that like stupid horn thing? I have too many favorites now, so you're just never gonna. Do you, Do you guys have the problem that whenever like you're streaming and your glasses like reflect the fucking screen, and it's so yes. frustrating? Yeah, but I can't. I... It's happening right now. Oh yeah, <laughs> but it's. I only watch myself during the like the this. Valve not a sponsor yet. Yeah. I mean, don't don't get me wrong. Fucking, I will I will go the way of the who. I will sell out. <laughs> fucking just... <laughs> Heinz baked beans. Hit hey, me up. it is shitty until it happens to us. Oh yeah. Well, no, I. That's like mobile game. That's like mobile game sponsorships, right? It's oh like, yeah, yeah. Oh, all who would aside. suit this load to do this? And if somebody said, "Hey, I'll give you ten thousand dollars to run a thirty-second shitty Great ad," challenge. I'm like, I mean, yeah, we all have prices. I would like to say that, like, oh man, it's gonna be stuff that I like and stuff that I use, right? But like, man, it's getting close, further into the pandemic. It's more like, hmm, man, I'd, I'd, I would tell you that tampons, like. <laughs> This one corks my bee hole way better than. I use this for my man pawn every day. I would Amy Schumer this my shit so pawn. hard. Mm-hmm. Twenty twenty, hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Hey, brag Dylan. about it. Hey Dylan, when's, when's Andy it. coming on? <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, I really want both of them. I, I mean, for as much as I push Dylan's shit in, it's just it's because Jeffy does it. And it's funny. So. Well, it's because yeah. I love. Sure. I do love the squid. I, I think. I think. I think Dylan. <laughs> Dylan likes to give a lot of shit too. Oh yeah. And and I, I don't know. It's it's for me. It's just banter. It's we just yeah. We just... I mean, like I clearly. I think you just like see Andy would just like it would roll off, but like screw you, Elliot. I'm leaving. <laughs> and yeah, he, he he's got to twist the dagger. Yeah, Elliot with one T. <laughs> but you know, like you can see, he kind of internalizes it a little bit, like the rest of us. That's right. a oh man. Yeah, right. Oh, how do I get? I'd have to make a whole like. Oh, I got a crop for four. Okay, I'm just not gonna. I'm just not gonna like edit the Discord call. Then it's just gonna be a brick of four. The brick. You could. Because this was this was a lot of work to like. I'm trying to crop. I'm trying to crop a, a webcam that I don't have the source for. Yeah. So exactly. I'm just like I just can't do. I can't finalize this until there's actually three people here. Yeah, so you needed your video feed and then our display capture, unless you're capturing off Discord for yourself too. Right. I mean, so I'm I'm doing that too, so you guys can actually see me in the Discord call. Because if you guys are yeah. just watching the stream, then I'll do my webcam. But uh, I'd rather it be like I'd rather this be all in the same room. But COVID. Aw, Dylan. Bothers you when you repeatedly really get ganged up. I mean, I, I get that. No, I feel you. I feel you. That's why we had Dylan Appreciation Month. Repeatedly get ganged up on. Well, so, uh, what, what was realized... the joke? It's like so. After the month, we everybody could just go back to man. Well, I the don't norm. Dylan, I don't like the ganging up either because like I'm just like man, I'm done. Like, and then everybody's just piling. I'm like, I, I, I love. I'm leaving Dylan alone right now. But like, I realize like I'm the only person in chat shitting on Dylan right now. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only person here. Yeah, what the fuck, bro? Why are you why are you roasting Dylan? Why so am much? I like? No one's here to laugh at it. 
This is funny to me, <laughs> damn it. It's just I don't know. It's just like it's it's really hard. It's really hard for me to do. I don't. I, I just know. don't. I'd like. Well, I mean, you see it. You see it through a different lens. We just. I do. You know, I've had friends. I've had friends like you. Like, why? Why is your boyfriend so mean? And I'm like, because this is how like my friends and I talk. But I mean, it just it depends on, of course, what you've been through, right? I don't know how everybody's like school life was. Oh yeah. So. What... But like when you when you have that one moment, like you you vividly remember when you were like in elementary school when you just transferred, and. Uh, you like you thought you made friends and then they're literally like i don't want to sit with you at the lunch table because you annoy me and then you realize that like it builds oh. and it becomes a reality as you go through school it's hard to be the person because i don't know who like what people have been through so it's like i i get it like because it's a thing like i've been in groups like i, I was a part of a like a group in high school where their whole thing it was like a halo group right it was an xbox early group so basically their whole personality was to haze people like they didn't know oh, how to geez. do anything but haze they, people they, they teabag people in real life oh, in man. real life constantly yeah like and and i guess i stuck around because like there was this illusion that they were cool you know but like oh yeah that's tough like i had a friend group right but then for some reason i got singled out at one point and then, then i became the pariah so then that just like made me like just the loner. Uh, yeah. But then they'll still like they'll still they're all individually nice to me, but this I I always notice it's like it's when one kid fucking's like you. And now the whole group is like, Yeah, that guy. But like Yeah, like like everybody was thinking it and then they needed like a leader to say and, it. But uh <clears throat> But then like in in high school I found like two solid friends and we would just kind of like shit on each other because we were just hardening ourselves up. We're hardening each other up for everybody else's bullshit. Like we would just stand Ooh, in the same I corner. Have a hard time with that. We were standing. That we were standing in the same corner in lunch at lunch like every day, just like talking about the shit we liked, the nerd stuff, because we didn't shit on each other for that. But then it's just like, you're a loser. <laughs> loser you're a loser. loser. Nothing like a bunch of high school friends hardening each other up. Oh yeah, we're getting hard. <laughs> we're standing in the corner well, that, but, then, but then to like i don't know like i i, I have mixed feelings about that the idea of hardening yeah. up yeah i i don't know i i i guess i had it kind of easy alone. i had i had like three like best friends or two best friends i should say throughout like all Dil of school Dylan, like it was book. yeah it was it was from like dylan grab a thick book you know, like, and just pretend like you just enthralled with it and then, like, if people come up to bother you, just be like, oh, yeah, hey, what's up? And you just put your bookmark in, and you're like, yeah. And then if they go away, you just open the book back up, and you're like, oh, that dude, that dude says reading. Yeah, exactly. So, 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 cool. so you said it, w it was easy cause, because, like, you you maintained a, a, a yeah. set of friends throughout. So it was yeah. just like, Cause like I, cause yeah. I lived I lived in the same place. We never transferred, never moved schools, never did anything like that. <laughs> I just went to the same school all the time. And there was, like, a time period where, like, me and my friends were, like, bullied whatever you yeah. want to call it it was just like it was like the middle school years where people are so cruel and shit where it's oh, like yeah especially are, then like what are you gay are you gay together oh you always hang yeah out with each face. other and it's like no dude we're just friends we just play halo like we play halo we play call of duty they're like that's pretty gay i'm like if you say so I'm i mean like, sure if you say so i'm like what and, and then it was like learning about learning about being comfortable with me and then it was yeah. like no. and then it was making other people uncomfortable they were like are you gay i'm like why are you looking looking to get your dick sucked they're like wait what are you doing you know and then they would be like whoa oh. no man no yeah. and i'm like that's when you when part. you yeah that's what I'm that's like, what elliot said he did where he would just turn yeah. the, the table and then people yeah. would be like but well, you said you had you had bullies who were just like ha huh, it's funny because elliot said it and, and I, then it, you were like i'm actually shitting on them it was weird yeah. i had these two kids they weren't exactly bullies like i liked them both uh like by themselves they were fine but when they got together in the lunchroom they would just go around looking at all the dweebs and they would start asking questions and they just find stuff to pick apart and laugh at and they like they're the one time they're just like uh my ex ex-girlfriend's brother we were good friends in high school they they just picked him and i'm like hey guys like don't you guys actually take shits next to each other don't you just like oh man what is this oh god damn it bunch of high school friends oh, it, each other. It, oh, it, oh yeah we're getting hard amazing <laughs> standing in the corner well, amazing. Yeah, well i leaned into that dylan so okay cool 
Uh, <laughs> well, thanks for interrupting the conversation. Like, your, I, cle- I clearly said it jokingly. Your, with your, 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 your well-timed. When, uh, when people clip my content, it makes me so fucking happy. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, yeah. That's great. Yes. I don't know yes. what was funny about that, but thank you. Uh, I have the weirdest mm-hmm. ones ever, where it's like, I'm just having technical difficulty. It's not funny. But yeah, they, like these two jocks, like they would... I'm pretty sure they showered together after like gym and stuff and then they'd they would go to the bathroom and sit in the next stalls to each other so they could like still talk and i'm like do you guys hold hands while you're doing that like it was so easy to just pick them apart after they were trying to pick up my goth friend Mm -hmm. like i was like i'm unbullyable i was six three and over three bills in high school uh you don't fucking bully that kid so all my friends like i was i was like the mama goose you don't you don't fuck with my my, boy, my boys and then it, it happened at community college I'm like this is college yes my friend it's has still happening my <laughs> friend has a fedora like yes I make fun of it because it's a stupid fucking trilby but he also had a knit Santa hat over it like that his mom made so he had trilby and then Santa hat and this dude's just like what what's with all that and I'm like yeah his mom made that because he she she loves her son does your mom not love you enough to like make you a hat. <laughs> <laughs> do you just not have anyone in your life that's gonna like show that kind of and you just kind of got sad yeah it's like no people people are just people make fun of other people because they're not comfortable with themselves they're yeah. like i would never do that that would be so embarrassing if i did that and then they're like why are you doing that you should feel bad for doing that and it's like fuck you yeah it's like no it's like i'm not gonna feel bad for doing anything with my goddamn life i like how it's you guys like, were no. just like we're gonna sit perfectly still until he's done <laughs> fuck now you're fine <laughs> I see Tristan slowly smirking you're both just like we, we were, I, I was just I was like wait I was like Santa hat Where, what where is this going <laughs> yeah, where's a, the, what, what? it's a dope Santa hat dude and he, he wore it over his trilby which was dumb as fuck man I had a couple trilby friends and I'm like oh no they th- use neck beards they wore them unironically and like you're not you don't i i witnessed some of those friends that was i there. had i had like <clears throat> I, had, I had the weirdest hat in high school i had like an irish gangster hat <laughs> of like oh. the small hat with like the small bill in the front and shit yeah okay was it I a, had that shit was it a bowler or was it a pork pie no 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 it was like it was like it looks like it's almost like a baseball cap but it was like it was like not as tall. It was only like half the size of this, and then <laughs> it had like a, instead of a long bill like this, a very short bill in the front. Oh, did, uh, it, did it have a flat? Uh, it like like, a, like, a flat like chimney sweep. Did it have a flat top? No. Or like a pillowed no. top, kind of. Yeah, like, kind of like a pillow top. Yeah, it, it was like it was like imagine what a chimney sweep would wear. Oh, okay. Oh, is it like a is it like one of those paper boy caps? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, okay. And like, okay. And like a paper boy cap. I feel that's, like that's I a better. Be googling term all of this. There's probably a, there's probably a way cooler term for it. Probably, but but I had that. Is it called like and... a newsy? Oh, is yeah. That... Uh, wait. Okay. 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 Hold that on. That sounds right. Newsy sounds right. So yeah. I'll just I'll just do the, the thing real quick. I have to like, right. I have to look through everything. I'm not quite this yeah. right. Not quite. Hang on one second. Pulling up the stream off of that yes well it was it was like uh the one to the right of it the one to the right yeah like like kind of like that when you're hovering over to the left uh, i said there's so much delay there's so much delay the gray hat second from the right on, up top oh okay it was, it was kind of like that newsboy cap pretty much yeah okay it's pretty much like a newsboy cap i had that forever i can and then that. And then I think one of my friends burnt a hole through it with a cigarette. I don't know. Cute little, weird. cute little baby face Jeffy, just on on purpose or like an. Oops I know it was a complete accident. No, because that would be a really weird thing to do your friend. Yeah. I actually like had <laughs> I had two hats in my life that were burned through with cigarettes, like like uh, by complete accident. One was my dumbass aunt, who I had like my little league hat that I wore all the time because I played little league. And yeah. it was the blue. We were the Blue Jays and shit. I love that hat so much because like my first little league team and shit. I wore it until I couldn't wear it no more. And then my aunt was like smoking one day, like 
and I put my hat like down outside. I like took my hat off, laid it on like a banister, and she was just like flicking ashes. And when I landed on my hat, my hat caught on fire, and I was just like, "What? Damn it!" Just... It was so it was so bad. I was like, "What do you do? Stop it!" <laughs> I'm just picturing. I, I mean, I pictured something entirely different. Uh, what? How? How about how tall are you, Sauce Hefe? I am like five eleven. Okay. It's like, I'm just like, were you just like a really short kid? And it's like, why were so many people smoking over you all the time? <laughs> why are you holding this over me? They're just, just putting they a just, cigarette. They just yeah. <laughs> nest their ashtray on the, in the, in the newsy hat. I oh, do have a square, I do have quite a square head. So it would be easy to balance one on top of my head. Block it. I, have, a, I have such a square a, face. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but like my face like goes straight down. It is. Is not rounded at all. I feel like I can kind of see it. Somebody's gonna have to take a screenshot. We're gonna have to trace our heads. Yeah, I got a square ass head. I got a fucking giant gourd. I don't hats don't fit. God nope. damn it! Extra large hats. I have yeah. I have to like order special hats because my head's so goddamn big. <laughs> there is one hat I might bust I out though. I finally got one of those like uh, plaid with the flaps. And the de- oh, oh yeah, yeah deer yeah. hunter yeah dude those are dope but like again it was an issue like it was a gift so it was like just one size too small uh mm-hmm. so the x just like okay i'll just let out all of these seams on it so it stretches more <laughs> i have a i have like a one of those russian fur hats of i think it's called like a toque or a yushanka something like that yushanka oh yeah. mm-hmm. so bad there's also like a mongolian step hat i would totally unironically wear <laughs> Yeah, I get I get weird looks around here for wearing the Yushanka because like everyone around here wears like Dude, uh, busted out. They wear like beanies and shit uh, in the of winter. Of course they do, right? Like, yeah, and it's like I and I don't get me wrong, I love a good beanie. However, oh, it might be like, Hungarian. Like, Every I will, day. I, yeah, I will walk <laughs> out with the Yushanka though in the winter and be like, "What's up, motherfuckers?" It might be Hungarian. It's, it's, it's so Hungarian. goddamn warm too. It, the the way you got to do it right is uh, you got to go out in uh yushanka but like the the of course the tra- the trapper variant and right? nothing else <laughs> the, and, and nothing else no you gotta you gotta go out with like the red plaid one right mm-hmm. uh and then you have to wear a type of plaid that's a different color right Ooh. like oh like they, they can't match whatsoever no they have to clash and then underneath you have to have like the uh, oh uh carhartt God. coveralls look at this majestic boy with a molson in your hands look at this fucking Oh my god! It's gotta have that's the... like that's like Ginga. Yeah, that's Ginga yeah, exactly. Khan, dude. I like I like the version that's just the brim. It doesn't have the mullet, but oh man, I'm digging the mullet. It's, oh yeah, it's, gotta it's, get it with that mullet. A lot of, I mean, it's it gets close to like Yushanka territory, but I want the fucking pillared, like Russian steeple thing, with the fur brim, not the little not the little baby boy, fucking straight up fur brim. The real deal. Oh yeah. I want that so bad. I, I've Etsy'd this. I've like put this in the budget. That's, you need like a that's pretty close. fur lined. I gotta talk to Andy about the budget real quick. The budget. See what you can afford here. Like I'm like, yeah, I, I, like, I, like the... I like the one right there to the right of the mullet picture. I've Etsy'd that, it, and it's like, so man, eighty bucks. I I can yeah, <laughs> we can. I can I can I can do that. I can go without groceries for a couple weeks. <laughs> I uh. I read I read a great book about uh, Genghis Khan. Yeah, Genghis. Yeah, uh, good go- Good job. Yeah, I said Genghis earlier, and I was like, "Wait, that's not how you pronounce it." But oh. I, I read I read a book about it, uh, or listen, I should listen to uh, audio books. I don't have time to actually read a book, but I don't have, I don't have, I don't have time for that. And the actual. It was good. It was a great book. It was. <laughs> I'm like it waiting was, for you like, yeah, that part where he set those birds on fire. That was pretty fucking cool. <laughs> it was dope as hell, dude. No, oh, I, I just that hat reminded me of it. I was just um, like, yeah, it was a good book. If you can find hardcore history with um, Dan Carlin, Dan Carlin. Yeah, I always get his. I always forget because it's it's like George it's Carlin. a it's a combination of Dan Harmon and George Carlin, and my like my brain's like <laughs> what com- piece names together, George Harmon? <laughs> nope. Uh, the con- the wrath of the cons was his like my favorite mm. of his work. It's solid. It's so good. Uh, yeah, I haven't I haven't seen that yet. I heard listened to that yet, but I need to. It's a it's a little bit harder to find. You're probably gonna have to bit tour in it if, unless you can find a place to pay for it because it's been it's been like cataloged by now. 
Oh, okay, gotcha. <clears throat> so I think you can buy it. I think you can buy it standalone. Okay, I'll check it out. I'll check it out. If I find a yeah. link, but I, I, I I've listened to a few hardcore histories. Not a lot. I but a few. I named my uh, bugbear in D and D Timogen. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm just like he's the great con. Nice. I'm going for this Shao Khan, Genghis Khan kind of. Oh man, speaking of D and D, man, talk about. Talk about burnout earlier, dude. I am. I've been experiencing a lot of burnout for D and D recently. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, really? With, with my main, especially. Oh yeah. shit, man. Oh, is it? Is it because? Is it because like there's a lot more pressure when you're a DM, <gasps> right? Like. Well, yeah, more... and also, I mean, like, uh, I should say burnout. I just don't have a lot of time for it. For mm-hmm. like, because like like little one shots, I can like throw together in like two or three days. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's okay. It's like oh, okay, yeah. I just I just work on that like four or five hours this week and it'll be done cool but then then there's like the months long campaign that we've been doing where it's just like there's so many stories and there's so there's so much shit to remember and i i don't know i really i'm, I'm thinking about disbanding my group uh my my, oh, my really my, you gotta you gotta just do because... <laughs> it's gotta be like a family reunion you gotta meet read the minutes from last year yeah, pretty much. And it's Uncle John died. Uh, <laughs> Aunt Gil got that thing cut off. Yeah. How? Okay, the one shots. Uh, do we want to like? Do we want to mention anything or just is that like? We we had some. We were making some plans. I thought. Oh yeah. Is I mean... that all under wraps or is that still a a, a, a non disclosure agreement? An NDA. Up to Tristan. Well, yeah, we, we. I mean, we don't know, like, that that specific. We do know that we're going to do uh, D and D at least one yeah. of these times. We will play D and D together privately at some point. Yes, oh, we know that much. Ooh. <laughs> private, <laughs> privately. Ooh. Yeah, like a uh, honey next butter. Whenever we said that we were going to. Yeah, we've got a. We, yeah. Yeah, I thought we had a plan for like the six. Six. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I've got it in we'll my be, calendar. Yeah, we'll play some D and D privately or something. Okay, I don't know. I, I mean, I, I don't know. Should we stream it? Well, I'm thinking. Of, well, I mean, that was, <laughs> I mean, that was the could. whole that was the whole goal. But if we need to like, if we need to practice run, boys, because part of the fun is also like uh, putting out fires. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm that's my vote, but I could go either way. And uh, we definitely want to see who's interested because of reasons. Yeah. Well, I I extended the branch to Andy and Dylan. Oh, sweet. I, uh, I, well, I extended cool, cool. I extended the branch to Andy. Uh, I didn't have Dylan I know, on as a friend on Discord. So. Dylan's not talking to me privately currently. So, oh, yeah, it's that whole thing. It's something Trouble about he's not privately. It's something about his sister. I don't, I don't want to get into it. <laughs> something I don't get missed into checks it. in the mail, guy. I'm, I'm so still sorry. stuck on the fa- on like on how uh, Jeffy's gonna kill his entire uh, group <laughs> just to to end out. <laughs> He's, well, he's, he's, he's gonna take a gas can just on the table and he's gonna kill his group guess what motherfuckers oh, well, i'm probably going to extend the dm position to somebody else and just be like oh hey that's a... if somebody else wants to continue this you oh. can or uh, I see. we can start a new campaign because i don't have time to be a dm but i would love to be a player Here's so. the resources, and then you shove the resources in the corner, and then if they want to do it, yeah, you never know who's gonna like rise to the occasion. I've I've had so yeah. many like, well, I have I have two or three other DMs who who also they oh, also DM and shit, so like oh. they're in my group. I don't know if they'll pick up my campaign per se, but they have like some ideas for campaigns, and we might just do like a bunch of fucking one shots for six months or something. So do they ever backseat DM? Well, I would have ran it like this. No, they're pretty good about it. We, I had, I have one guy. He, when he, when he first joined, he was kind of like, "Uh, is that right? Is is that is that what that monster is?" I'm like, "It's homebrewed." You know, it's, it's like, like, does it yeah, does it I'm matter? Like, I'm like, I specifically changed this monster because I know that you fucks know about it. So it's like, <laughs> a, it's like I know that you know the stats of this monster. Because well, I also feel like here. So did you did you did you generate your own world or are you using? Well, I, I started out with a pre-planned module called okay. Ghost Assault Launch, which is kind of mm-hmm. like a ship-faring pirate adventure, except for there's no fucking pirates in it, and they plan nothing in it. The book is <laughs> the book so filled with a brim with like filler material 
Yeah. That there's not a lot of fucking story to it. And it's like, it's basically like a setting where it's like, hey, if you wanted to create something off of this, you could. So it's like a reference book, not actually kind like of, a... Yeah. Well, it's, yeah. like a, it's a collection of a bunch of old ass adventures that have been like haphazardly, like haphazardly uh, thrown together into a semblance of a story. Yeah. And it's like, these don't really go together. So then I had to take a lot of creative liberties and I had to change a lot of shit in it. Well, then and there's so the, there's your out there. The world now, so... Yeah. Well, and that's your out though. Like as a, as a DM, the the greatest like when anybody questions what you do, if you if you generated the world, right? All you have to say is like the name of the world and the place and be like what part of that do you not understand? Because you generated the whole world, right? So like if there was a creature and like isn't this th-? No, it's not. Yeah, we're exactly. not we're not in the forgotten realms. Well, you know? I am t- <laughs> You technically, I'm, you technically, I, you know, I I'm a lot of like, realm, I, like Faerun. I combined it with a lot of Greyhawk material because oh, that, okay, what a lot of Salt Marsh is from it's Greyhawk. So, but either, either way, I yeah, I'm speaking to no one right now <laughs> with any information. <laughs> this is not interesting. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> uh, but no, I uh, yeah, I don't know. I feel been feeling a lot of burnout with that though recently. And, no, I uh, get that. Elliot, how you doing? I'm good. You good? I'm just I'm just listening. Yeah. Your your knowledge <laughs> is extensive. Um I did a lot of Pathfinders, <laughs> so I just none of this I started yeah. with yeah, I started with Pathfinders, so none of this uh rings basically just played. like it's it's third edition ish or like whatever the wherever the fork was. Yeah. Where it's I feel like, like I've but, done I'd rather... everything but a lot of D and D, like I've done Call of Cthulhu, oh, yeah. Legend of the Five love... Rings. Call of Cthulhu we, is wonderful. Could we do some of that? Yeah. Is there like a one shot of? Oh yeah. We just oh, there's a and... shit. Yeah. Start out in Red oh, Hook. My god. Oh my god. The call. There's so many Call of Cthulhu things you can do. My friend, we did a uh, we did a fucking uh, Norse mythology driven um, Call of Cthulhu one. That almost uh, feels unheard of. That's it was cool. it was the best fucking D and D session I've ever been a part of. My friend DM'd it. I was a player. We were playing as Roman Cantarians, and we were or my friend was a Roman Cantarian. I was like a a wall engineer. We were at the um the place with the walls the the Gaul. Oh okay yeah yeah yeah. So we uh he called he called his little campaign. He created this from scratch. He called it Shadows Over Gaul, and essentially. Uh, there was a, I don't know, there was like a creature that had been reported. Like we just, the walls around, I don't know how much you guys know about Roman history or anything, but quite a bit. bit. Yeah. Quite a but, significant yeah. amount of, like a so, lot. So, <laughs> whenever they constructed the double walls around Gaul, it mm-hmm. was like, it was yeah. like, okay, we have them now. But then there was like, oh shit, there's enemies on this side of the wall and then there's a creature on the other side into the forest or whatever. So then me and a bunch of other people had to, like, me and, like, two other people, players, were sent to investigate it. And we found, like, a... It was so creepy. It I, I had chills down my spine, like, when he was, like... It was that well written and spoken? Nice. Yeah, he's, he's, he's such a great DM. And uh, my friend, he's he's a really good player too. He was playing the or Centurion, whatever. Mm-hmm. Fucking amazing campaign. And uh, yeah, eventually we saw Odin in the clouds, and my friend got to speak with Odin, who said who like goes by many names, Mars and Ares and Odin. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, and my friend made a deal with Odin to have the power to strike down these creatures. But but to give up his like his own life and shit, it was the most metal shit that we've ever done. It was we, it was the most the most nineteen eighties thrash metal thing you've yes. ever heard of. Making a oh, deal yeah. with Odin. Oh yeah, and like I rolled like an extreme success on like a perception check or something, uh, in Call of Cthulhu, and I got to see like Odin riding a chariot through the clouds and shit like that, and like it was. Did you have to take a horror check? I did, and I yeah, of course it. you did. <laughs> I took a sanity check and I failed it. I, I I went insane from seeing Odin. So, 
I kind of wish that, like, because because you can get Call of Cthulhu to go so insane that it could be like, oh, uh, you almost get hit by a car. Take a horror check. Like, it's just a a regular event, yeah. but you can do that. That's the yeah, great exactly. thing about it. Yeah. Um, because because one of like as a as a if you DM like uh, Call of Cthulhu, one of the funny things to do is to uh, soften up your players with regular world events so they're mm-hmm. on edge, and then you hit them with the real real. Oh yeah, it's like oh, it's oh there was a murder. Uh, there was an attempted murder here. It's it was an actual crime, no wrongdoing. There's a there's a cosmic horror now crawling towards you from the basement. There's Migos and they're running around stealing people's body parts. Yeah, it wasn't just a murder. It was Migos. <laughs> but yeah. you're familiar with a lot of Lovecraft stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We uh, we also did this one where we played. Uh, you know the show Deadwood. I have I do not. I do not. Uh it's it was an old HBO show. It's okay. it's a great fucking show. And uh but essentially we were I was like a Pinkerton detective and I was sent to investigate some murders that happened and shit and then my friends were like had like a doctor friend who was with me and then there was a few like locals and shit like that who were other mm-hmm. players like my wife played with us and stuff. So it was but uh it was like the gold rush of the the Montana territory and shit. Oh, and okay. Yeah. It was like that sort of thing. And it was, that one was very good. We went into a, like a silver mine or something. And there was a lot of like cosmic horror shit happening and it was good. We never well, did then, get the that one, but it was good. It was a good time. See, that's, that's the thing that's so great about uh, Call of Cthulhu though, right? Is that you can put it in any time frame you want. Because it's essentially the in, the entirety of human history, plus oh, yeah. cosmic horror, right? Yeah, so exactly. So that's why you can do it in Rome. You can do it in the Montana Montana Rush. You can do it uh, Oregon Trails. You can do whatever you want with it. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's like it's like there's we basically what my group likes to do is they like to take like unexplained events of like when mm-hmm. there wasn't a lot of technology or recording. Like my friend is talking about doing one during the Crusades. Oh, geez. and then and then. Because it all comes with like the Valley of the Kings, right? In Israel, yeah. In his, it's like translated. It's not actually the Valley of the Kings. It's like the Valley of something like the Overlord, or like the it's like the Valley of the something. But it's not. Yeah. Kings. It's like scary shit. <laughs> it's so he's like, yeah, this is where fucking Cthulhu lives, or like whatever. And, That's like, <clears throat> oh, but the Crusade that could be like a really. <laughs> I can see how you could do some really creepy stuff there. Elliot, what's your experience with D&D? Yeah. I'm and, sad. And anything. Why are you sad? sad? I'm real sad. So I had an idea, and then I saw that idea. is No one's doing it. So you know that movie, uh, Heavy Metal, from 1981? Mm-hmm. Well, they don't make a tabletop game for it. There's no Heavy Metal RPG. And when you search for that, it's just dickheads and leather. Of course, it's just <laughs> yeah. You could make it. <laughs> I have, yeah. Between when? <laughs> Never. Yeah. I think there's a. Do I, I don't know if I'll know... find time to watch the movie. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. There's just there's just. I don't even have time. time to watch a movie, let alone create an RPG system around it. I don't know if either of you know uh, what I'm going to be referencing here, but there's a there's a tabletop RPG. That is like supposed to be futuristic, but like all of the armor is like leather jackets. Shadow Run. And it's like Shadow Run. Yeah. I hear that one's a lot of fun because it's just wild. It's very cyberpunk. Uh, I don't don't know why, how the. uh, Cyberpunk, but stuck in the 90s, is it? Or like late 80s? It's like cyber fantasy. Cyber fantasy? It's like elves and dwarves and like trolls and shit. In weather. Yeah, but in the future. Yeah, but in the future, and they have guns. <laughs> what? Um, it's trolls and dwarves, but it's like know the 90s, but Rick then and it's Morty. in the future. Mm-hmm. Y'all know Rick and Morty, that little show? Uh, never oh, heard of it. Oh, yeah. So I'm obsessed with Dan Harmon. He's uh, one of the co-creators. He had mm-hmm. a show, uh, yeah. Harmontown, uh, where they played D&D at the end. Uh, yeah. Every, every episode, they'd play like 30 minutes of D&D. And like, I started watching when they were playing Shadowrun. Oh, nice. And Curtis Armstrong from Booger from Revenge of the Nerds played with them. It was fucking awesome. It, it was so awesome that uh, Verve 
Crunchyroll or whatever gave them three seasons of Harmon Quest. Or it's, yeah. it's just them oh. playing D and D with celebrities. I love Harmon Quest. It's fuck yeah, it's fucking awesome. So yeah. uh, the podcast has since been off air for like a year. They just did a reunion, but I think they're bringing back a a D and D one without Dan, which is sad. Yeah, but Jeff B. Davis from uh, Who's Line? You gotta throw the oh. you gotta throw the the, the B in there because I'll you'll just find Jefferson Davis of the Confederacy. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. That's cool though. I I like uh I like but, I like Harmon Quest a lot. That was a great like yeah. little show. That's the that, like, that was the like, last animated. Yeah, that was the last thirty minutes of every episode. Was this them like, oh man, it's shambling towards you, Spencer Crittenden? I mean, he's also a streamer here. Uh, not gonna plug that shit though. But yeah, yeah, gonna plug Pokemon. Oh, I'll plug Pokemon as, as long as the day is short. As long as the day is short. But it makes ever since that I wanted to play Shadowrun, and uh, yeah, I guess that's the difference between it. And I'm, I'm trying to answer my own question: how how is that different from Cyberpunk? It's a Cyberpunk with with trolls and shit. <laughs> yeah, it has fantasy. I played the game a lot back in because it was like a Counter Strike s game for the Xbox 360. Called really? Shadow Rep. Yeah, and it was fucking amazing. We, there was like a hundred people who played it. <laughs> it had like no players whatsoever. Oh. Like we would constantly run. We, we we had like this tight friends group of like people we met online that we would play with because there were so few people who played it. Like there was this guy named Captain Jack Sparrow. I'll <laughs> never forget this guy. He's the best pirate I've ever seen. And he was he was fucking great at this game. He would get like 30 fucking kills. And if he wasn't on your team and he was on the opposite team, we're like, well, I guess we're just going to lose this game. Anyway, and then we'd message him and be like, hey, man, what's up? It's like the one guy who like is into the obscure thing, but he's like the best. I, that actually I, happens a lot. So I had a friend growing up, he was like number one in the world at like five different like like there was a game called Area 51 Black Site. It had a multiplayer. He was number one in the world at that out of like <clears> 6,000 <000 throat> something which By feels like, like it was a lot a lot more back then too even yeah. you know like how are you this good at this game and then like battle he he also played battlefield 4 he was like number three in the world at that for like four years straight i was like you're you're insane he was like he could have been like an esports pro at it but he just played it on its off time i was like god damn i just man. I just don't know how you get to that level without like some sort of dedicated practice. Like, do you think your friend was actually like, "Oh yeah, you get better by doing this and then applying it," or was it just? Do you feel like it was natural? I just felt like it was natural for him. Oh jeez. Like, yeah, he was just like so. Good. He was just good at video games, and he had like a talent of like just coming in and just wrecking a video game, and just leaving. <laughs> He's like, all right, I'm done with the game. On to all the right, I, I, I've beaten everybody. I can leave now. He's like, okay, I'm like number six in the world at this game. I'm number one in this game. I'm number three of this game. Um, I'm like, Jesus Christ. So, uh, I always want like a really cool RPG, like uh, tabletop over to uh, like video game. Mm-hmm. And I know there's like, there's the Dungeons and Dragons one and you just mentioned the Shadow Run, but like, I always just like think like, that those games need a dungeon master like creator tool or like yeah you just have like you get, you get all your five friends right and four of them get to play but then the fifth asshole like on the fucking wii u or some shit gets to like put all the things together and then like put all the assets yeah. and like voice actors yeah as far as they want to go you know what i mean they'd probably be there'd have to be like a bunch of pre-made ele- elements and stuff and there'd mm-hmm. have to be like a, there would be like a huge modding community for it, like just all these fucking yeah. Skyrim textures and shit. Uh, I'm looking for that game where like you can just man, uh, it'd be like Mario Maker with D and D. Yeah, mm. that would be great because like Baldur's Gate three, I've heard is like such a good like Four twenty, game. Nathan. I'm not wearing my glasses, but I know it's this fuck face unstoppable. What is up, my dude? What's up, man? How you he's so doing right. Today? He's so right with that emote. Well. Like I can see that emote without my glasses. So you did a good job. I can't hi, hi, hi. because I'm blind. But sure, <laughs> <laughs> I'm as blind as a bat. Oh my yeah, god! I've heard a lot about Baldur's Gate. I've never, I never really looked into it, but I heard it's like a top, like in terms of yeah. like if you like fantasy. Yeah. Same thing with Divinity Original Sin too. Nobody's gonna shout like, him out, boys. Just look at him. Sorry. Yeah. 
Whoa. I'll do. Listen, I don't work here. I don't work, I don't, I don't work here. <laughs> I don't get paid for this shit. Hey, Aldrin, what's up? Aldrin's here. What's up, man? How's Look it going? I said I figured I should start working here. I saw Aldrin, <laughs> and I'm immediately like, I feel like it should start hey, working. Hey, Tristan, you see that mop? Yeah. That's how there's dust on it. Yeah. 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 Not using it. Why is that? I just, so Baldur's, I don't have a retort, I've, man. Again, I've heard. I've, I've also heard about Baldur's Gate, but what's? I guess I'll just look it up. Baldur's Gate. What is it? Break at work. Hopefully, work's going well, Aldrin. Yeah. I hope so, man. We oh. just chill and talk about D and D and shit. This looks like from afar. This looks like some RuneScape stuff, but but just you could you could, add, you, could you actually bit. could you actually configure the levels? No. Okay. No. It, but it's it's the wizards of the coast game it's like i mean it uses D D 5e rules steal my so, idea because i'm i know i'm never gonna make this i just want somebody to make a mario maker meets D D. I think that's the easiest way to put it yeah i feel like that would be really hard to do but and you're right it would have to have like a huge modding community oh for sure like a kind of tabletop simulator kind of has that well Ooh, we good. appreciate it aldrin thanks for thanks for stopping yeah, thank by for stop, thanks for stopping in yeah, man. Yeah, man. Uh, it says like uh, just wanted to stop in and say hi. Oh man! Yeah, four twenty Nathan sixteen. I've heard that uh, Baldur's Gate is or Baldur's, Baldur's Gate. Gate specifically. Baldur's Gate, dude. Baldur's I heard Gate, it's specifically dude. broken. That's the have uh, a good one, Aldrin. That's the adult yeah, spinoff. I'm waiting until it's done. Oh, it's still work. It's still a thing. Like it's no, they released it, but it's just like it was a piece of shit. I heard. Oh. Yeah. I heard that it was just completely broken. Uh, la latest release, 2016. For Baldur's Gate 3? It just came out last year. Oh, I'm looking at Baldur's, just Baldur's Gate. Oh, no, yeah. Baldur's Gate 3 is the newest one. Oh. Well, but no, it doesn't It doesn't have, like, a world builder or anything. Oh, man. I, I feel like... Because, like, basically just take Skyrim and make it, like... Make it easier to make levels and stuff. Yeah. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the kind words, man. Have a good day at work. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, I I feel like I feel like that with like a little bit of work, you could do something like that. And there's this game called Valheim. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Everyone's mm -hmm. telling me yeah. about. Yeah, everybody, everybody's playing Valheim. Uh, I've been playing a fuck ton of Valheim off stream, Survival just game. because like I don't know how you guys feel about this, but anytime that there's like a huge game on Twitch, excuse me, sorry. Um, anytime there's a huge game on Twitch, oh okay, I've never had I've never had success playing like an oversaturated game. Right. Like if XQ is yeah. playing the game that I'm playing, is this multiplayer? No, I mean Val I get Valheim? I get that. No, like Baldur's it's, Gate three. Uh, well, Valheim, like I'm getting like it's just Viking Rust or like Viking PUBG, kind of yeah, whatever. It, it's like it's like Viking Rust, yeah. That's pretty accurate. I there's see it's I there's see a lot of resource like gathering. Yeah, I see why people like it. There's, a, there's been a lot of like, good. how do we just do Minecraft again? Yeah, it, it's essentially that. It's like there's, and I mean, God, it's like such a polished game for being what it is. It's made by like five people in Sweden. Oh yeah. Oh really? I mean, wow. Well, you have it yeah. in Swedes. It's, it's a one gigabyte download, but there's so much content in this. Like it should. This feels like a thirty-six gigabyte download does, game, but does, it's one gigabyte. Does it download with like an, an Allen wrench? Well, they probably reuse as much texture as possible. <laughs> it downloads That's with, a, true. with a fucking Allen wrench and a recipe for meatballs, and you just gotta put the game together yourself. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and it's, it's like a it's like a procedurally generated. Oh, uh, okay, that saves a lot of. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's like procedurally generated, so uh, seeded world. You can give so. you can give it the same assets, and it'll just like it'll the algorithm will build off of that, which yeah. is really smart. Like really like. Um, that's how like PlayStation games are going to be now. It's, yeah, exactly. They don't have to, yeah, it's they have to, don't have to like load the assets each time into RAM. Like the the memory's fast enough where it can just it can just pull it from the SSD. Yeah, that was like No Man's Sky. Like No Man's Sky, there's like a billion fucking worlds in it or trillion yeah, and worlds. Insert and it's like new stuff into it. Yeah, you just need exactly. To seed. Okay. Well, I'm I'm gonna have to check that out. How much? How much was that? What? Valheim, it's like twenty bucks. It's like nothing. Oh man! <clears throat> if you get it, we should play it together. Because I've been fucking I thought playing it was that shit. Single player though. No, but Valheim is multiplayer. I ask like, hey, is this multiplayer? And you guys are like, fucking Baldur's Gate isn't. I, Dude, I wish it is. We, 
if we if Elder if Valheim is multiplayer, we should definitely do like a a multi stream. That could be fun. Yeah. No, why not? I mean, I'm getting uh, that new computer just came in, Hell so yeah. I should be Ooh. able to handle stuff that's not just. Are we on for Monster Hunter? The Hunt reason Day? I the reason I play stuff like this for the most part is not just because I enjoy it, but because I don't have a setup to do you know like Dark Souls and stuff like I would. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so now I'll have it. Nice. Oh, that's good. I, get that thirty. Get that thirty eighty Ti. I'm gonna redeem my own. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly the thirty eighty. That's what uh, it's actually. It's a nuck. It's a toaster with a thirty eighty stuck to it. That's a nuck, bro. But hey, if that nuck has a lightning port, you could get like a standalone graphics card for it. It actually does, I believe. Or a thunderbolt port, not lightning. It does. Um. So yeah, you could get like a. It's not as good as plugging it in PCI Express or whatever, but it's pretty damn close. It's just I'm. It's just crazy that it, it's coming with like a like, one terabyte SSD to begin with, because like it feels like SSDs are still new technology. They need to just they do don't the. Feel like they've been perfected yet. They need to just do like there's there's a PCI expander port for servers, so it actually just plugs into the motherboard. I have this. Oh, I, nice. I need. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. But yeah, there's I... like. I just bought this uh, like about a month and a half ago. I still need to install it. It's just an M.2, so it's just plug, screw down, and then like the NUC, the NUC just needs one of those where you just plug PCI in externally through like a through a daughter board and a, a little like that. I, I see what they're doing with 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 Thunderbolt, where you could just daisy chain everything. But yeah, that'd be the fastest. Then you just it's just all native. That'd be pretty dope. For sure. I, I mean, I could, I could, I could wax poetically about computer hardware, but I think I'll, I'll move on now. You think you, you're just like, I, I'm done. I'm but done. no, I get it. Like, Don't there's drag it into the ground like we did with the D and D. <laughs> no, no, I was, I was actually like thoroughly like, okay, cool. Like, I'm in good hands. This is going to be a fun campaign. Because I'm not, I, I, it's going to be a long time before I attempt to D and D something, and it's probably going to be yeah. like a lot of homebrew because I'm just, I'm not going to go, like, read all the stuff. <laughs> There's yeah. the, do you want reading in your games? I always play yeah, the just... ba the barbarian and I roll the dice and I smash the things and it's good. Well, it de depends. Like uh, that's one of the things I really like about the Souls series is that it's like if you want to find out the lore, you read. Otherwise, you just play the game. Right? They don't yeah. shove it in your face and you know put you through tons of like cutscenes with like info they're just like that's a bad thing kill it if you want to find out about it read the axe description yeah, yeah. if you want to cry about <laughs> killing it read this yeah I mean, read it's, this it's the same thing in a lot of rpgs where there's just books and i'm like man i should go back to reading those books after i'm done like adventuring so like i'm just mad like the witcher <laughs> like the, 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 the biggest thing you could do to piss me off would be just like hide loot in the books because i'll never find it you well, know, I ain't go look at the shelves. You know, you, wait, you, know you know when you read you read the book and like it updates your quests, like mm -hmm. it updates your log. Well, just very like, subtle, Jeffy. Put that put that little bit in there. That's like, and then if you turn left, there's like four diamonds. Just don't don't say that part. You know what I mean? And just piss yeah. me off. Like, oh, I had to read the thing. Now that's world building. I'll tell you. I'll tell you which game has a lot of uh, has like the best books. Fucking it's Oblivion. Twitch Mobile. Okay. Oh yeah. Oblivion has the best reading in any game, and new would never change my mind. Skyrim's reading, no. Nerds. Oblivion's reading, yes. Dorks. Uh, Marwin can only fit so much reading. It had limitations. Yeah, exactly. Cool. <laughs> I'm getting an ad. Let's see what kind of like on your own channel. Ten cents we get for that. Oh no, I use my Smurf account for mobile. You will not get ten cents for that ad. I know. No. I won't. After about after about like fifty of them, you'll get that ten cents for that. Dude, three, <laughs> okay, okay. three subs, boyos. We're we're making it. We're we're doing it. Making it rain, boy. I've, I've, right. Someone should have told me like, hey man, you need the uh, you need the friends pay me money button like as early as you can get it because that was like the last thing I was thinking about. <laughs> like, oh, people That's actually, the people actually want to do this. Okay. Well, yeah. It, well, and, uh, to me, it's not. Hmm. I'd say I. I started out Twitch. I don't know how you guys started out, but I was like, oh, I'd be fun to make money and stuff. Like, this would be great as like a little side hustle, you know, and stuff. Yeah. But then I made no money for six months and it's like, or whatever, however much time it's been. And I was like, this is a fun hobby. <laughs> you know, I was like, <laughs> yeah. I make, I make no money to like, to this point where I'm still making no yeah. money. Yeah. Like I, uh, 
and you know, don't and don't get me wrong, like I am no in no way doing this for money. Like I started out thinking yeah. like, oh, this could be cool. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then, you know, like it's you know, you just don't get the the money back. Like I bought a PC, I bought, you oh, know, yeah. streaming shit, like cameras and um, mics and shit. And it's like I'm you know, how do you probably th- not gonna get this money back anytime soon. What do you think about like as a gateway to something else? Because it's like it's this or do nothing for me, like not like not do nothing, but like I have my I have my main gig right, and that's seasonal. But like mm-hmm. without with the pandemic, with the lockdown, without like all that oh my God. all that fun stuff, I can't. Yeah. I got to keep minimal contact, or else I don't see get to see my kid. Um, yeah, because she keeps minimal contact. So like my life has been very like very shut in. Yeah, uh, solitary. Same here. Uh, and even when it was like even when I had work at the be- like, it's just like go out there do the stuff come back no contact with anybody i uh, so i completely agree with you i i have i had i started this i started it i i had like thought of like oh this could be a nice side hustle but i but mostly what my thoughts were when i started streaming was i would like a way to talk to people without leaving my house yep because yeah i, I need to maintain minimal contact because all of our family members have health problems and shit so right. it's just like and then i also work from home so like i wasn't going to work anymore because i just brought my work pc home with me and shit so i was like okay well there's that and then from from there it was like how can i make friends on here you know it's like and also my friends watch me stream so it's like my real life friends are watching my watching my stream and we're all hanging out and i used to i used to like stream with them a lot but so- they haven't we haven't streamed together in a long time, so. Uh, back yeah. back to D and D, like, just as a personal, like, I just realized, like, I've let a really like, oh boy, I did the thing again. What thing? You can't minimize the Discord window because then it doesn't capture your image. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. So I just I was just checking, doing some system checks because I yeah, my divi- my my attention is divided. Anyway, like between work and home, um. Like, I didn't keep track with a lot, keep touch with a lot of friends. I didn't, like, I, even if I did, I couldn't go see them because of distance or some bullshit, you know what I mean? So I ended up, like, playing Pathfinders at the comic book shops uh, just to, like, hang out with people and to, like, to do stuff and have a group. And I like that, I don't know, that just fizzled out. Um, I would love to do something like that to just have that for COVID. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I well, I've had that for like we started D and D and honestly like we were doing D and D online before COVID because all of my friends live like 400 miles away from me. Jeez. Oh, yeah, so oh, it was wow. like like I have a friend who lives in Columbus and a friend who lives on like the other side of the state from us, and then people who and I have like two <laughs> I got a friend who lives in Columbus. I got a friend who lives in Akron. I got a yeah. friend who lives in that other Ohio city. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's pretty much it's pretty much that. It, it's Akron, like Akron, Ohio. And then... <laughs> they're they're all like so fucking far away from me. And there was it. only like, only like one of my friends from home. Yeah, okay. one of my friends from home would come over and like we would order pizza and wings, that and then awesome. he would. Yeah, and then they and then we would have like a video call. I had like a conference mic in the middle of like the table where like we could sweet talk to our friends and shit. And then my wife would play with us too. So it was like three of us here. At my house, and some playing fucking then... Yoko would come and ruin it. <laughs> wow, well, this sounds like you had a good setup. Like yeah, you had awesome. like a... yeah, exactly. So we had like the structure for when COVID hit. We were right. like, oh, now we just well, my other friend just has to go online. I like and that's it. I like what you're doing and what what's, what's available with tabletop because like I've had separate several groups of like, man, I live at a I work at a printing company, so I can print out the big Pathfinder board and then like make it nice. And, like, do all the little things, and, like, now we have little figurines and all this shit, and, like, and then my ex is like, I bought this expensive tile kit. Hey, Neon, what's up? I bought this fucking... What is up? I bought this <clears throat> tile kit, and it was like, I can build all these levels and stuff, and it's like, yeah, it's like that's... This was $50. <laughs> I would rather just have it all on a goddamn flash drive, aka now your cell phone, or, like, mm-hmm. like, it's it's gotta be... Oh, man. 
Yeah, and that's and that's the best part I like about I, I use Roll Twenty, but there's a lot of like different websites that you can use for it. It's gonna be like right. aug- augmented or VR goggles at some point, or you just yeah. oh wow, you're just in it. Yeah, no, there's not even a table there. There's not even a table. You just like you put the headset on, you're in your chair, and like now there's the table. <laughs> and anybody who plays D and D in the chat, or if you guys just... ever want to know anything, the place where did the, I make my own maps a it's, lot. Too. It's funny, you yeah. see, because that's a text simulation of a thing. And then yeah. you're doing a VR simulation of a text simulation, rather than just the thing. That's yeah. it's layered. Do, it's do, funny. Is it a specific site that you use? Is that is that what you're going to mention, Jeffy, about where well, you make your maps place, or where, where I get my maps from? A lot of them I get from Reddit. Oh, That's okay. Where I'm on like the Dungeon Draft, the D and D maps, the you name it, like all of that shit. There's like yeah. six different like. Uh, subreddits that have like people sharing maps that they make and shit and they're like yeah please use them they're so cool talking about and, like apiaries I... in chat oh uh i think neon's talking about uh if if i recall uh you mentioned that you do have a wasp nest near where you live and <clears throat> um it sounds like you're not being recognized if if i recall because you had mentioned that before to me where you did have a nearby wasp nest hmm Neon, Neon, if if I recall, is is a uh, wildlife biologist. Ooh. I just want to make sure it's the exact. Uh, that was in the UK. Okay, so what are are you are you messing with other wasps then? Well, it's like a Starbucks. Like a, like a Starbucks. Wait, Ang- wait, Anglo-Saxon Protestants hang out at Starbucks. <laughs> what? Is that? Are they? No, they go to. They table. were lost flying in the hotel. They just seem to follow you. Not being welcome home. Three stings today, and then like, okay, can we unpack that? Because, like, we had three, we had three narcops today, man. Three stings. I Honestly, I'm twelve I'm, uh, pounds I'm... of Chiba. We, <laughs> we put a lot of, uh, we put a lot of bad guys away. Just uh, guys being dudes. Just guys being dudes. Oh, I'm actually man. sitting on a on an entire. A Bloodborne campaign Ooh. because uh, I had my friends are going to do it. We did one session, and because our schedules don't match up with actually meeting it for it, because they don't want to do it online, right? Oh, okay. For yeah. some reason, so I'm just sitting on this Bloodborne campaign that I made. Oh hell yeah! Um, is that a, is that an olive branch there, buddy? I mean, if you want to, I'm not like you know. The thing is, is like it all depends on what you want to do. If you prefer being player, prefer DM. DM or if you trust me to be a DM because that's another thing is that um, I've met some people who like come up with a lot of stuff but once they actually DM you're like there's nothing there it's like a it's like wow look at all the content but it's like coming out as like half yeah. it's like it's almost garbage and it's unfortunate you know oh, there's 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 a lot of because it's it's hard to be a DM yes oh yeah it is it is extremely hard it's, it takes a lot of work like the the sessions my best sessions that i've ever had were ones that i spent like 12 to 13 hours working on the week before where it was mm-hmm. like i have this completely flushed out and like but it took a lot of time to prepare those where it's like i have a lot of descriptions written i have mm-hmm. where like whenever you enter this room i will read this and then i would write all that down and then instead of like making it up improving it and because making up improving it, it's like okay, and we're good, we're good, we're good, you know. Well, like, oh yeah, a whole different set of muscles. But now, well, it, if you're, do you guide your players like very hard, like, or do they just ever just completely go off the rails or miss or like throw away all your hard work, or do you like force them to <laughs> just, just like the the face, there's, the DM face? There's got to be like punishment, or there's got to be like oh. I mean, if you were if you were good, like I don't want to say like if you're good enough, but like if you're if you're clever enough, you could like always make them go to the outcome that you wanted. Well, well, that's the thing is like I don't, I don't like the railroad people. Whenever I DM, I'm like, because I I told them I was I I because I, I had this thing called like a session zero, and we started this. I was like, listen, like you guys, if you guys want to do like a murder hobo campaign or you would just want to like fucking do, just, I don't know, just tavern hopping simulator. Murder hobo. Yeah. Murder hobo. I like murder yeah. hobo. Kick, in, kick down the door. Not a big fan of tavern That is hopping. a professional D&D term, murder hobo, by the way. Tavern tavern hopping is where you like, your friends are all like pot smokers and drinkers and that's all yeah. they want to do. I want to go and I want to gamble in a tavern. I want to arm wrestle somebody. 
Like, I want to start a tavern fight. We just like, had one where like, hey, uh, this 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 DM just got so pissed. Like, I gave you all of those like travelers to pil to pilfer, and you didn't do that. And then somehow you wanted to fight the city guards instead. And then you didn't even want to do the main campaign at all. And he's just kind of like slowly packing up all this shit. Yeah. He's like that's. Well, and, yeah, and that's like I told my players. I was like, I have an expectation that you guys want to do the quests that I set up for you. Right. It's like. It's like, please don't shit on my, uh, like, if something comes up, I'm like, I'm like, if you don't, I was like, you can do it however you'd like, but like, you know, like, this is like a video game. Like, this isn't Minecraft. It's like, it's more like Dark Souls or Bloodborne, where it's like, there yeah. are certain places that you need to get, that you should get to, but like, how you get there, I will leave up to you, or like, what preparations you take. Because like, no matter what they're doing, there's shit going on in the background that they can't control. Like, oh, yeah. like the big bad evil guy is doing shit and just because they take a fucking week off to go sit on a beach or something that doesn't mean the bad guy does the bad guys oh, okay. grow in power and that's shit a good, yeah. like they, they have like a time limit the world keeps like, going right without them that's a good that's a good idea yeah, exactly. and, and that's why and, like uh oh continue uh, i was just gonna say like like there's a war happening right okay mm -hmm. uh, about or there's a war about to begin in my campaign is it against christmas like, it is. It is. And the white Christian males. I'm sick and tired of them, dude. Dude, can we th can that be mission one? <laughs> it's mission one. Baby. We gotta fucking kill Christmas and everything that white men like. <laughs> can can one can one of the one of the like the the bosses be called Bronners? <laughs> <laughs> Just like but no, I, I I like that idea a lot. That like the world. Hey, hey, world's coming up. Like now they're at your fucking gate. What do you do? Yeah, exactly. It's like you guys didn't fucking prepare. Right. Whoops. Oops. It's like, yeah. There's no. I. I. Have, I. I fully have consequences for actions. Cause like that's good. That's good. I mean, yeah. I. I believe that. Uh, I believe that if my players like, if they fuck around, if they want to find out, like, if this bad guy is gonna show up with fucking three thousand fucking people, yeah, he probably will. And if you if you give him the opportunity, he's gonna show up with more. It's like he raises fucking undead motherfucker. Like man. if you if you allow him to raise cities and to fucking gather more of an army, so then that's all happened. You. The yeah, way, it's, it's the way that Harmon Town ended and ended its D and D campaign was really sad because like I, I hate to just bring, bring that up, but it was like it was a good point. Like the D, the DM was such a good like bullshitter. Like he would prepare stuff right, and he'd have like little modules. Like if they go over here, they can do this part. Like yeah. He always had, like, a little bits he could plug in, right? So, like, they were just, like, they, they were in one of those, like, holy orders of, like, the Silver Flame. And they're just like, man, are we, like, are we good because we're, like, Silver Flame guys? Are we, like, Silver Flame guys because we're good? Like, I don't like the corruption in this shit. So, like, they, like, left their order and went off to be potato farmers. And he tried to carrot them into adventure, like, as... You see a flaming demon in the background as it, fa as it falls to Earth. Uh, you hear cries of help over... Like, Oh um, yeah, I just got a whole like new harvest of potatoes, and <laughs> well, they're just like, uh, we're we we, we don't want to none of that Dark Souls stuff. We're we're gonna play Stardew. Like he, uh, you could tell he <laughs> like so hard he's just trying to bait them and like, well, we're not ready to go fight a demon, but like you go follow it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you go like exactly. you go, you know, that's a thing you want to go investigate as like members of the Silver Flame. Uh, and mm -hmm. like, man, that's just, I just can we just like settle down and like <laughs> farm yeah. potatoes. Well, that's like a lot of my players a lot of my players are like blessed by gods and shit you know and like they are like like i like we're playing it out to where they are champions of their specific gods right like mm -hmm. my wife andrea is playing a cleric for a goddess called eldath and it's like she is a champion of eldath now because eldath like rescued her from like slavery and shit and like did a bunch of shit with that and like made it give her like the Captain America treatment where it made her like taller and buffer, like, like her body like changed, oh, uh, and, like shit like that. And it's like, mm -hmm. like, like we, we, we did, we set this up now. So, like, if she's like, yeah, I just want to go like fuck off and like do nothing, like you, it's like, you have six, yeah, that's not gonna happen. And rock and bod, yeah, and it's gone. You are, are booty delicious. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's, that's such a weird, I mean, that makes me want to like not, like, I'm just Derek, I'm just. I'm just like the guy over there with the with the broom handle. Oh yeah. Well, we kind of have a guy like that in there our was, group. Because there's Someone like who's just tagging along. There's so many. There's so many like like uh, 
a cleric is just warlock with more steps. Prove me wrong. Like, this guy just, like, he went through all these steps to, like, hey, man, cleric, you just, you just, like, I just pull my power from anything, but you could piss off your god and, like, not have power anymore, so fuck you, cleric sucks. And then the other one is, like, uh, one guy is, like, I'm an atheist, or, like, I'm gonna, like, prove that all the gods are, like, you're not, like, you're not a paladin because, like, god's there, you're, like, you're just tapping into, like, whatever. I can't, I'm, I'm ruining the argument, I'm ruining the thing, but, like, I love those little things where, like, we're just, we've turned the lore on its head. One, one thing that I like doing, because one of my players is a warlock, I like corrupting, because, like, a lot of, like, warlocks draw from evil shit to get their power without fully realizing it sometimes. Okay. Pulling a blizzard? Yeah, and where it's, like... World of Warcraft. <laughs> yeah, exactly, and where it's, like, it's, like, literally you have... Oh, who's who's your deity? I don't know. There's just like this, some giant tentacle monster that came to me in a dark jury dream and he gave me powers and said to prepare. I don't know. It's crazy. And you know, it's like, and now I can shoot fucking Eldritch Blast out of my hand. It's fucking awesome. And then, and then it's like, oh yeah, but in like two months, it's like, how's your body going to feel whenever like you have like these dark lines of corruption and magic running through you? They start collecting their dues. Something Sorry. happened there? Uh, yeah, I, uh, our city siren is being tested right now. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, you're good. We can't hear it. I, yeah, okay, yeah. I was going to say, it's very loud. I'm surprised you can't hear it. Uh, oh, no, we got, like, it. we got oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah, we can hear it. We yeah. can slightly hear it. When it, when, it come, when it spins around. Oh, man. I was, like, I was driving home from, like, my parents, and I was about to get, like, onto the, the, the main road to take me home or, like, the highway, and the fucking, like, fog horn came on, and it's, like, feet from me. And I'm like, oh, holy shit. Yeah. Oh. I don't know. I don't know if you guys ever get this feeling, but like whenever time you hear like an alarm or a siren, it's like, what the fuck is happening? It's like panic, panic. Mode. It's like, it's like, it's like my heart starts beating. I'm like, it's, it's Russia invading. What's happening? <laughs> like, like, <laughs> that's the, that's the saddest. Like, that's like, something's actually going to be happening. I'm seeing red. Like something's going to really be happening. And they're going to like, they're going to put that fucking siren on. And it's like, um, okay, whatever. Oh yeah. no, it got it got so bad. Okay, I gotta tell you this story. All right, so uh, in the dorms, uh, people, so many people would mess up, like cooking in the community kitchen, right? So many people would mess up, like burning like baked goods and whatnot. That it got to the point where we had like four or five alarms, including a test on one week. I kid you not, like the last three, I didn't even leave for. Yeah, I literally, I, I did that same thing where you get desensitized. Everybody's like, you know, run out. And I'm just like, oh, I'll just wait. But it sucks. Yeah. A fire alarm that long? Sucks. Oh my god, dude. I, I'll never forget one time in college, our fucking fire alarm in our dorm was on for 72 hours straight. Jesus. The fire alarm could not turn it off. There is like, it's stuck. It's It won't turn off. So then we had to like, I, I just had to leave. Like, because you can't sit there during a fire alarm. No, no. Not that long, like seventy-two yeah. hours. Did they have? Did you have somewhere else to stay? Well, luckily, I went to school like twenty minutes from my parents' house. So. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. I see. So I was like, "Hey, mom, can I come home?" <laughs> I was like, I "My fire alarm won't come up, won't go, won't go off." And she's like, oh, "Yeah, sure, go for it." I, I just... think I stayed with. I think I stayed at my friend's dorm like one night, and then I went home. Mm -hmm. I was like, eh, "Fuck this," so. Which really sucked. I don't think I could have ever commuted because I did it for like two days and I was like, this fucking This sucks. just sucks. Yeah, I was like, oh, I like wow. living on campus. So I realized oh. I just like set the thing up. Like I set the hands up to be like, look at these assholes. But then if you look at the perspective from like the chat box, it's like, look at this shit. Yeah. <laughs> look at this shit. <laughs> look at the rising <laughs> bullshit come from chat. I Like I happy accidents. I love it. Happy accidents are the best accidents. Did you know that uh, Bob Ross said that uh, trees cover up a multitude of sins? I kid you not. That was one of the episodes. He <laughs> That's said awesome. that. He's like, he he literally he was like, oh, and then he made a tree and he's like, trees cover up a multitude of sins. Oh my god! And I'm just like, what did you do behind a tree, Bob Ross? No, what did you like, do under a tree and then plant a tree there? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like it's like it, you you go plant the corn over your fucking dead wife, and then you only find like, why is that corn lower than that corn? It just sounds like a story. Like uh, it's like a rainy and like foggy, like crazy night, and you just see Bob Ross with his permed hair, and he's digging a fucking hole right beside this fucking pine tree. I made a happy little accident. I made <laughs> a happy little accident with this. Sh <laughs> I would love to see a horror film that was just campy and it was Bob Ross. 
Do like him and Mr. Rogers and like they're like serial killers. That would be dope as hell. Oh, I'd also, be down for that. Their name, but yeah, <laughs> whatever. Mr. McFeely. Uh, just... Man, and I, I, I remember I watched Bob Ross as a kid. Yeah, I don't know if you guys ever did this, but like I watched Bob Ross as a kid, just unironically. I was like, oh, Same. the painting guy's on. I was like, I don't even yeah. know who this guy is, oh. and like, and like I was called weird for it, and then and then fucking. It blew up. 13, 14 years later, they were like, oh, there's this old painting to, uh, show that used to come on like the 90s and uh, the early 2000s that was called uh, The Joy of Painting with Bob Ross. Weird flex, and he's Jeffy. he's awesome. I know. I was well, there like, before my, it was cool. I was. My, I, grandma I, was, my grandma watched it. I was like, I only, fuck yeah. I was watching reruns before they were cool. I only watch like, Bob Ross when I'm in the ER, but it's always on and it's always like the best thing to watch. Like Bob Ross is on Twitch right now. Like they're yeah. they have the, the channel playing. You should go in there and check out the chat sometimes because you'll get people who I feel like are younger. They'll be like, Man, why do you guys keep showing reruns? And they're like, He dead. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. His son's yeah. dead. He's, he's son alive right now. Actually. Probably dead. <laughs> yeah, he's alive as he he's, he's alive in Barbados. Right now. I, I I he was the first channel I ever followed on Twitch was Bob Ross. Uh, y'all see his son paint. I don't blame you. His son's hair is just as luxurious. And he's like just oh, a good yeah. as, Steve. Just as good yep. a painter. Yeah. We're just gonna yeah, get this titanium white. <laughs> we're gonna get the titanium white here. We're gonna we're gonna Oh I love that. He's gonna, gonna slap the dad slap the devil out of it. Really? <laughs> slap the devil. Yeah, my dad because my dad used to have like this big long flowing mullet That's and awesome. like yeah like a little bit of facial and like the mustache and shit. And he he was like the full eighties like nineties like white trash Kentucky guy. Oh, and, yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so he he looks like he looks a lot like Steve like like Bob Ross's son. That's great. Hey, uh, Bob Ross, Steve is still going and um, traveling around. Uh, I think even the world maybe like teaching people how to paint. He's doing the same thing, but uh, yeah. apparently he was offered to um, do the show and take over, but he's refused because he's like, it's my dad's legacy, and I, you know, you know that just should be left alone. Yeah, smart move on Steve's respect. part. Respect. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Respect that because so many people. Oh God, I don't even want to talk about how they did my man Stephen Hillenberg dirty with fucking SpongeBob. Oh yeah. Man, oh fuck, yeah. Fuck Nickelodeon, dude. Fuck them. Oh, they're shitty. Them. They're Fuck so season fun. 57. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> oh, God, Stephen Hillenberg wanted this to die, and then he died, and then you dug it up and fucking ruined. Oh, God, I hate And it I just reminds it. me of the episode where, uh, the old episode where Mr. Krabs and SpongeBob, like, they had to, to bury the dude, yeah, the customer. <laughs> yeah. And then he comes like, die, zombie. Die, zombie. The barrel. This is how you kill a zombie. But Stand back, of... let me handle this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, such a good one. Because it's like that's that was actually a very adult episode. They yeah, oh, they're like, oh, that breaks everything. They really buried the guy. Do it again. Elliot. I thought I could. Do sneak, it again. I thought I could sneak off, but that changes everything. That's such a bad. I can't <laughs> name a new episode. Actually, I gotta like, see. What, I gotta see what. That <laughs> and you shouldn't. Is. What is that? Fuck them. What is that? How does? That... All right, we have to. We have to say. Our... Elliot, do you like SpongeBob? Oh no, that works. Yeah, I love SpongeBob. Okay, everybody, what's everybody's favorite episode? Something weird is happening, Elliot. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. Leaving. Oh, oh, okay, bye. <laughs> oh, I guess, I guess something happened. I don't know. He's muted. Oh, oh, he's probably. I don't. Know. Anyway, but anyway. yeah, no SpongeBob. Uh, yeah. No, they they shit on my man Stephen Hillenberg, and because uh, he's dead, and his yeah, dying yeah. wish was that his project not be resurrected and extorted for money. Yeah, and that's exactly what they did. It's exactly what they did, and it was like, man, fuck y'all, I hate that shit. Oh my god, that's so this is a scumbag thing to do. Well, and, and not I'm I'm gonna be honest, and and maybe this is a hot take, but uh, I always preferred Cartoon Network growing up even though i didn't have as much access to it unless i was at my dad's because we remember it wasn't always yeah. available yeah exactly um, like nickelodeon and cartoon network were on like two different like cable plans where it yes. was like yeah i remember that my i begged my mom to get cartoon network and she did eventually i was like eventually yes. well, cause... no i i agree with that i i think i enjoyed because like i enjoyed like fairly odd parents mm -hmm. and, yeah and like SpongeBob, obviously, and then Drake and Josh, and like a, a few other Nick Amanda show, 
Yeah, like Rocco's Modern Life, like older. Yeah, yeah Rocket Power, like Rocket shit like Power. that. Yeah, like all of that was great on Nickelodeon. But then there was like fucking Ed, Ed, and Eddie on Cartoon Network and Samurai Jack. Like, and you couldn't like, beat that stuff. Like Dexter's Laboratory. Oh my God, dude. I used to fucking love that show. And it was like, no, yeah, for sure. Cartoon Network had like, because like for me, like when I was young, it was Nickelodeon. Mm-hmm. And like, yeah, like yeah. young, young, I watched Nickelodeon. But then as I, like, I got into like preteen years, I started watching Cartoon Network. Oh yeah, because Cartoon Network was uh, was paired with Toonami as well. Like like it 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 transitioned into like a more adult thing, and then yeah. Adult Swim, right? You just made the the full... yeah exactly. Oh man, Toonami, fucking oh, yeah. classic, dude. Do you remember? I don't know how much of a Star Wars fan you are, uh, Tristan, but the Clone Wars. Yeah, the Clone Wars that came on Toonami. <gasps> it's, dude. it's so good. It's just on YouTube for free, by the way. Like you can just go watch that shit. It's you like just go hour. watch the Clone Wars. Yeah, like the the original like cartoons, like they because they were like fifteen minute long cartoons, and yeah. it was the first introduction of General Grievous into the storyline and shit like that. And like it was just like little side stories, and oh my god, it was so fucking cool. It was like the first time that anybody ever focused on like clone troopers too. Oh yeah, it was, yeah. It was like it was like the clone trooper storylines of like rex and people <laughs> there we go yes what's I, up man did it i had drink in the mail i drank like two cups of coffee and like two cups of water i really had to pee dude, oh okay i am holding it right now too i had, I had a cup of coffee and like oh, well, thing of water oh, do you want to go and wanna... then, no i just I, I already went no not you <laughs> oh yeah oh, oh you, 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 you go you want to go for jeffy because like if you, you go and I, over. i'll fix tristan's capture because it's broken now yeah you it's fix broken? it uh, i'm gonna leave my camera on so you don't have to fix mine all right i don't know how the crop oh i th- maybe what yeah because got... it's looking fine i don't know what's going oh, on there, oh, oh is it like a little over there, yeah, I, fixed it. It. Ah, I see I'll be, I'll be. all right uh, sounds good Oh man! Oh, we were we were just talking about how uh, like the Star Wars Clone Wars was so awesome. Oh yeah, that shit was dumb. Had yeah, just they had like was two. Bad. They had two farewell seasons because they changed networks. So Netflix did a season, and then like Disney Plus did the final season. And the final season, God, you gotta see it, dude, because Ahsoka's finally just like realized this is her story arc. Uh, and it's got like a decent tie-in with with uh, post episode three. Yeah, well, it has. It actually, like you know, um, if I recall, it's it's compl- It's very canon. It's not like a. It's not like a bullshit super side. Like it's actually in the universe happening. Because like, an, one thing that I feel like I, I know you're not listening. Oh, you're putting up the um, your hat there. Um, you're but... so far off my head now. <laughs> oh, because they they won't fit anymore. Oh. Uh... Like they won't. I'm gonna need different headphones to make this work. You keep talking. I'm listening. Oh, I was just. Well, I was just saying that, like, if you, if you, like, go to like Barnes and Noble or whatnot, you'll notice that there are actually tons of Star Wars books, right? Oh hell yeah! And it's one of those situations where it's like, what the hell is canon? Oh yeah. It's like the There's... same case with like oh uh, Warhammer and whatnot. Are you talking about Star Wars uh, new, fan fiction, new Uh-oh. canon and old no. canon. <laughs> uh, is that the real canon? Like you have to go find the fan fiction. Well, it's not exactly fan fiction. It's like it's like extended universe shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, dude, I have like fucking sixty extended universe Star Wars books. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> really? I, I have friends. I have friends like you, dude. Go get your fucking fur hat, boy. Me? Yeah, go get your hat. <laughs> One second. Uh, well, shit. I guess I might as well do this because it's the closest thing I got. I love right you, now. Tristan. I love you and too. I don't care who hears it. That's okay. Except for apparently, you care that uh, Jeffy doesn't hear it because he's not here. So you're gonna have to let him know. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. Oh, Tristan looking good, man. Oh yeah. I know it's the clo- it's the closest thing I have. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just I love to wear my hair. <laughs> love it. I feel like uh there's some ca- cartoon characters that were like this, right? Where they would just show the mouth. Got it. Oh yeah. 
Oh, no. Like, I want to see you, but, like, I want to see your eye pasted over your bangs, like, anime style. Oh, like... Somehow just... you can still see the eye perfectly over the hair. Through the whole thing, like, my eyebrow and everything oh, just yeah. appears I'm, over top. I'm, I'm, I'm every button. <laughs> oh, dude, I need, some, I need some brewskis. I need some hot cocoa. What I'm not gonna did. lie. What's that? Sewing kit in college, and I put a big fuck-off button on this. Because oh. the little one not stay buttoned. That's awesome, dude. Yeah, I fucking big, bought a, a so big kit. fuck off button. Mine's yeah. a mine's a snap, so mine's as be so mine's as strong as my face is fat. <laughs> strong as my face is fat. Yeah, there's two snaps, and I'm clearly at like second snap. Yeah, this one right here, uh, this ear is a little wonky. Oh, it doesn't yeah. like to stay up. Oh, I have those uh, two. Do you have the I little? I... Do you have the little mesh boys for your ears? Your ear holes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can hear. Does uh does both of yours have the side pockets on the the flaps? Side pockets. No, sir. Seriously, I have one, and I can't. I don't think I can wear it anymore because I wore it too much. But it has like little pockets with buttons on the flaps, and I'm like, what the hell are you gonna put there? <laughs> like, do you oh, just put? One I mean, there? like we have we. I think we both have this. It's not a pocket, but it, the flap comes. Yeah, down. it comes down to like protect the ear. Oh, okay, because. Like, I have like, like, little... there's like holes like right here. Because like when it's this this it's, hat it's, is it's been that cold. It's... This hat is fucking uh, nine years old, by the way. Oh shit! Mm -hmm. This is a nine year old uh, Yushanka. Oh man, you got oh jeez, it, look, it looks a, it looks a little rugged. So I'm not are, gonna these lie. These are just these are just called Yushankas because I thought it was like the toque or whatever it's called. Oh, I think it's a Yushanka. Yeah, the the the, the Russian. Russian. God damn it. <laughs> also, where do I keep my whiskey? I don't know. I'm out. Right now. there, right there, That's, right in, I had in my, frame. I had my fun drinking with my six pack of porter and my bottle of whiskey, and it's time to fast and not drink for a while. There you go. Yeah, I, I saw you. I heard that you were fasting. Yesterday. Did you just like not eat hey. yesterday? So what happened though? It, it was like three, and I had like I had to have a couple pork rinds and then half of a heath bar <laughs> nice so I'm, yeah, yeah I'm, just, right. I'm just not it's wow it's 4 15 i'm still just i might eat today probably <laughs> i, I have, might i do, I I have, do uh, inter, I do intermittent fasting it's getting late same here i do i normally try for like one, omed which is one meal a day oh wow that's crazy i don't do that i uh i do uh what do i do i do uh 16 8 Okay. And then I eat. I normally eat two meals a day. Because like, if you give me eight hours to eat, I could fucking murder it. Yeah, I have a. Yeah, I have. A, yeah, I, I normally just skip breakfast, and then yeah. skip breakfast, and then I just eat lunch and dinner, and then I try to eat like a lighter lunch, and then I try to eat like a heavy dinner, and then heavy that's what I'm like, heavy dinner right at ten o'clock. <laughs> yeah, I, right, I, right. I, I, I actually we eat dinner at like five or six p.m. So. That sounds like that uh, Metalocalypse episode. We'll just have popsicles all day because they're just they're just water. Hey guys, why don't we have one really big meal at the end of the night, and then we go to bed, and there's nothing left to do but digest. Yeah, and it's like the worst thing you could possibly do is actually eat. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. For sure. I. Uh, yeah. You don't. Oh, I hate bad. eating right before I go to bed. Same. Same. I love it because I'm. That's when I'm the hungriest. It's a real hard habit to break. It is. You boys it know is. what GERD is? That's a fun one. Ooh, yeah. You either get that's that for a, being that's a, not a good thing. fatty or for being a booze bag. So it's and funny. We're both. <laughs> <laughs> <And> we're both. <laughs> it's funny, like, John Mayer was talking to fucking Dan Harbin, and they're both, they both have GERD, and it's both because they're booze bags. <laughs> John Mayer. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, you want to see my yeah. like John Mayer's like a fucking sex you up rock star, and he's like, hey man, you want to see my custom GERD pillow that I like sleep on an incline? Does that get you going? <laughs> I, I did not know, know that John Mayer had GERD. I'm yeah. gonna be completely on drinking, man. That sounds like a that, that sounds like that could be like a good like if you're an obscure band that could be a song. John Mayer's GERD pillow. <laughs> like, that's, that's, like the, that's the album name. That's, that's, the, Milk Hotel no, that's, would write. that's your that's yeah yeah your, exactly that's your rap game James Franco that's your drift ref song but Bounce it's gotta be like desert. it's gotta be like part three oh there's another to it. I'm just slowly adding to the clips list 
That's just going to be like a whole verse from the whole chorus from uh, rap game James Franco. You know it, Tristan. Yes. Oh, man. I just got 2K channel points in your fucking uh, channel. Oh, point. shit. It's going to get lit. Oh, God. Shit, low time. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Not yet, though. I'm going to have to like Same. fucking bar Jeffy from... How do you do that? How do you block one person from... <laughs> you ban. <laughs> you ban. <laughs> you ban. I mean, oh, you still could chat and stuff. Just not I, the... I want your view. I just don't want uh, don't want you to be able to do anything. You can tie me out. <laughs> oh, man. I want to just have the clip so we don't get in trouble. Oh, without the sound or whatnot? Oh, Jeffy, if I could just send you a trap song. Oh, my God. If I could just... <laughs> if I could just send, send you a trap song. You do whatever you like. Oh, okay, Excuse I'm going to just put this shit into the chat and y'all can take it at your, as your leisure. Okay, good. That was muted. I'm, awesome. I'm going to be 100 with you, dude. This hat is way too fucking hot. Oh, it's warm, but I'm I'm committing to the bit. I like the I guess the weirdest part about this is like nobody can tell what I'm looking at. How do I like mute? Including you, <laughs> including me. <laughs> Man, this sucks. actually I can see I can see through this thick curtain very well. It's weird. Oh man, so I can't mute that. I can't like monitor this, so I'm just gonna let it slide. Uh, because I would I'd like to queue up the part, but then I have to mute you guys, so I'm not gonna do that. Okay, gotcha. I don't have that technology yet. We don't have the tech. What were Man. we talking about? I feel, like, uh, I feel like we ended in the middle of a conversation. Clone Wars. Well, I'm. Yeah, we were we were talking about the we were talking about uh, Toonami and Cartoon Network and like. Oh, you'll see the the, the new uh, anime. Uh, it's basically like a half an hour cut into like four little pieces of Tom. Tom gets his shit pushed in and then gets like a fucking robot, like extra, like extra cool robot body. I'll I'll give you the link. Yes, pass. I did not see that. Because, like, you know, YouTube, that's just all I... Yeah. Life. YouTube is life. Oh, why am I just searching Google? That's not what I want. Man, Tom, Tom's had so many fucking rebrands. I like the OG Tom. Mm -hmm. Why'd they make him buff? Even just, even just weird, like, regular, regular, like, black OG Tom. Like, now Tom is fucking buff. That actually was one of the parts I looked forward to most was the Tom parts. Like oh, I was yeah. too young to know what the it's hell like the, the story was. Like, uh, cause there was actually a story going on with Tom, but I was just way too young to even know yeah. what was going on. Yeah, exactly. There was, was there something with Halo? I think so. Like, cause that was like late. Wasn't that late? Like Toonami era before like cancellation or something. Damn, I can't remember. Yeah, I remember that there was something going on with Halo, and because I watched it a lot, and I was like, "Oh, I play Halo. That's awesome!" And then, oh, and then Toonami just stopped, and I was like, "What part, happened?" Part like, three's up, boys. Yeah, I'm trying to think. What was like their last programming? I, I was that when they added things like uh, GPX or whatever, or IGPX or whatnot. You guys, so, y'all remember that? Like mm -hmm. the racing anime? Oh, I hated that. The yeah, racing okay. robots. I'm just putting. I, I used to watch a lot of uh, Gundam as well, but I didn't it's know Gundam. that it was like I had no clue what it was. I was like, "Oh, robots fighting! Oh, why? Why is that? Why are they always it's crying? What is that? Why are they always crying?" <laughs> I was like, "What the fuck is this?" I, I was like, wait, "I was wait. so with." I was like, "This is anime." When I grew up, I was like, like "I used to be a oh ask, ask, ask that again. <laughs> what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Hey, Elliot, Gundam. there you go. Stream title." That's when condoms cry. When condoms cry. <laughs> so you can watch that whole thing. It's just a minute. So, um, nice. Like just take your time. We'll talk. And there's like it's just a. Oh, you want to watch it right now? Sure. Yeah, right now. I can't watch it because like I'll have to watch it muted. But uh, Tristan, yeah. check it out. It's only a minute. All right. All right. Got I'm it. it right it's okay, uh, guys. Look at my glasses, and you can see it. Toonami's Cosmo Samurai event. Uh, tease. Tease. Oh wait! Oh wait! I saw this. Oh yeah, I'm asking. Yeah. You, asking if you saw this. They're up to with uh, episode three now. 
it's only like a four parter, so it's weird, man. Like they put so much like yeah. like just straight up anime into something that's not that. <laughs> that's crazy. I wanna watch that. Man, I've been I've been I've been playing Breath of the Wild so much lately, by the way. I had, I just saw a bunch of notifications or recommendations for Breath of the Wild shit. Put that at number four hundred and you watch later. I appreciate uh, just it. doing just doing regular runs through or practice for speed or yeah practice for speeds practice uh, for speed okay yeah I got I got a few more I got a few more speed runs uh in in the works here nice. that I've been practicing like, for like m- like more obscure ones like the one yeah. like the one you've been doing oh yeah, sweet. more more speed oh, runs man uh, nice. I, uh there's this one that's called the get laid percent uh oh, where you use yeah, the night with Paya as quickly as possible it's like a thirty minute speed run. And then there is cake percent, which is where you bake all of the cakes and like all the recipes for cakes as quickly as possible. That one I'm looking so forward to because it's so fun. It's that like sounds great. It is. It's gonna be really great. I think the baker's legend. Yeah. Okay, I know what it is. I just didn't do this right. Uh, do you, do you have a do you have a, a schedule on that or are you just still prepping? I'm still prepping. I may, I may, I may pull out a run next week because I'm also doing the doggo speed speed run as well. Oh, nice! Uh, yeah, because I really enjoy doing that. That one's probably my favorite. That one's a long one. Uh, <clears throat> I'm a six year old boy. My voice is cracked. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you guys get that, but like my voice cracks whenever like my throat is dry. Oh, same. Oh God, I just feel like such a tiny baby. I get to <laughs> that. Like, I get to like. <clears throat> I can't like it yeah. doesn't it doesn't work at that point. Yeah, I need to wet my whistle. But but no, I'm uh yeah, I, I like doing the dog speed run because it yeah. takes me like three and a half hours to do. Yeah. The like the world record is like an hour and a half. But oh, I'm just, I'm just not good enough to do that yet. I could probably mm-hmm. get it down to like two hours, fifteen minutes. Maybe. Oh nice. Well, I mean you gotta push for that, right? Exactly. And it's like ooh. Yeah, exactly. I just gotta keep practicing. I'll practice it like once or twice a week, probably. Something like that. But definitely once on stream, and then maybe once off stream. Because there's a lot of shit that I don't know how to do yet. Yeah. So, like a lot of speed running techniques. And the way Honestly, that I do it, is like I just route out my way of doing it, and mm-hmm. then I start looking at the, the real way to do it. So. Well, that's actually one of my favorite things about watching you do it, is that like there'll be moments where it's like, there's a technique. I have not like, done it yet. There's a technique. And we can go I'm, for it. Try it, yeah, and then I yeah, fail and... it four times. I'm like, all right, well, one more time, and then we leave. Well, I was there when you when you pulled off the uh, where you freeze the Moblins or whatever. Yes, yeah, yeah, that was so cool. Yeah, I was like, I did it, kind of. <laughs> but there, it's it's so aggressive too when you pull it off. Yeah, it's so hard to do because like your character just just launches like a million miles an hour away, and it's it's so fast, but like it breaks the game. Like it properly yeah. breaks the game whenever you do it, for sure. Like, like, do you get like? Because I, I, I didn't know. Was there any like lag? Was there any like? It's extreme lag. Yeah, it's like like <laughs> like your character's moving so fast, you're like hitting each loading zone faster than the game can load. So it's like freeze, 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 and then sometimes the game after you do it, it panics. Do you guys yeah. play Red Cloud at all? I need to switch. Yeah, I, I, played, I really want. I've, it. I've played it. I've not played There's it, but thing. I want it. There's this thing called Blood Moon where it resets yeah. all of your enemies. Mm-hmm. And uh, the game, like, it'll be like the middle of the day. The game will panic because you're moving. In Blood so Moon? Fast, and it will Blood Moon to reset all the assets in the middle of the day and shit. And it's like, that, that shit can happen. And it, is there a I, term for it? Is it called like. It's it called like, like Panic Blood Moon, I think. Panic it's Blood like, Moon? Yeah. It's basically like a hard reset for like the encounters <laughs> in the game. So. Because. Whenever you freeze that enemy and you move away mm-hmm. so quickly, he's still loaded in one loading zone. And normally they're uh, supposed to deload so that the game can load more to shit yeah. without eating up a ton of memory. And then that just doesn't happen when the enemy's it, frozen. Oh, okay, because it still it still needs to complete the act of being frozen, but you've moved away from it so f- fast yeah, exactly. that it doesn't get to, so it never it never despawns. Exactly. Oh, not wow. for not for a few minutes and then the game panics. And then it's so, like, oh well, shit, Blood Moon. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's kind of cool. 
Speaking of that, I actually uh, I I was requested to do this. Uh, I'm gonna try a Final Fantasy IX Excalibur two run here soon. Ooh, that'd be fun. It's gonna be it's gonna be fucking difficult. Have you heard of the Excalibur run? like two and Final Fantasy IX? I know nothing about Final Fantasy or anything pertaining to it. <laughs> so, so basically, you can only get the the strongest weapon in Final Fantasy IX if you get to the end of the game after doing the side quest within ten hours. You Dang. you literally it's like it it's a built in speed run almost. So wait, so this is like a ten hour speed run? Yes. Yikes. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, guess what? Like the the fastest I think speed run of Final Fantasy IX is like seven and a half hours. It's a very long. Hey man, yeah. Deal. I, I could do that twice yesterday. Yeah, you could. Yeah, you could have. You could have done that twice yesterday. Uh, uh but I. Have you ever speed have you ever uh, speed ran before, Tristan? I have not. Prepare yourself. <laughs> Prepare yourself. I will be doing that. You'll your first run will probably take you nineteen to twenty hours. If it's a seven hour speed run, prepare to double your time or maybe. Oh possibly. yeah, I'm totally prepared for it. Um I, I don't even wanna initially practice off screen because I know so much about Final Fantasy Nine. I wanna see how fast I go doing like what I know, you know, yeah. as opposed to uh, cause, cause, isn't that what you said you did? You kind of just like routed out your own thing yeah. and then adjusted. Yeah, exactly. Well, I I watched a few videos on it, mm-hmm. and I was like, okay, so I, I learned where all the dogs were, and I was like, and I just kind of connected the dots. I was like, I could go here, and then I just used my knowledge of like, where's any valuables that I, because I got to get money during my run. I'm like, yeah, valuables. Man. I was like, and you got to like stock apples and stuff for yeah, actual. Exactly. Like, an apple orchard and then i went and watched the speed run after i did my first run i was like oh they go to that same apple orchard fuck yeah i was like hell yeah i was like i did it right yes and but then there was a lot of shit where i was like oh i didn't do that right (laughs) i was like that i could be doing this so much faster so well like there's those moments where you're just like i'm just gonna climb the hill yeah you know like yeah it's like it's like all right i'm done bombing myself i'm like okay shit but but i mean you like you cut your time in half like the the first time after the initial one like the second time i can't believe i just do you know how roundabout that was the first time after the first time which is the yeah. second time yeah yeah exactly <laughs> couldn't math but my first time what was it it was like it's awesome <laughs> i can't remember what my first time was no. wasn't it like six and a half yeah because i did it over two streams it was like six and a half hours and then yeah, yeah the next one i did in one stream yeah, and so it was like three thirty, six and yeah. mound, something like that. So it was like you cut it in half, basically. Yeah, exactly. Elliot, have you, do you want? Do you ever watch speed runs or do anything like that? Yeah, I watched uh, some Chrono Cross speed runs, and they like they they like they showed up in my chat, and they're like, "Hey, man, you play this game shitty. Let me tell you how to do it." I'm like, yes, they weren't. They were more than nice. They're just like, "Hey, if you do this, like, you got a thing. You might want to like." It says backseating aloud. So I'm like, yes, please tell me how to do this game good. And they show you the eagle eye technique. And, and then I yes, and then I went to like watch them, and it's like it's a it's a Lynx two run, it's a Lynx two percent run. So yeah. there's like Lynx is the main bad guy. You got to get to the second battle, which is the end of the disc one. And like I don't know what the record is, but this dude does it in like three hours. And I'm like, okay, like, Damn. but he learned. He taught me a thing, right? So like, you get you get you start out with like bone gear. Uh, thanks, Dre. You can start out with like bone gear, and then like the next one's copper, next one's iron. If you disassemble an I- early game item, the profiteer's purse, you get like a shit ton of iron and copper. So then you, it's like you just do that, and then you make three iron weapons. Upgrade. You make, you make some copper gear immediately. Like, and it even has like the thing like you need these items from this boss, this this monster, this monster, this monster, and then like you're hoping to get these items before you get to the first like the town. And then you make mm-hmm. this shit, and it's like it makes the game faster because now you can hit harder, and that's yeah. like, it's like you don't get that for another few hours if you don't. Yeah. Oh like, yeah, yeah, exactly. So yeah, like you have to go to the fucking pirate ship, which I hate, and that's where you get all the iron. Uh, Tristan's hat's the best. True. <laughs> I, I I like I like breaking games like that where because it's the same thing in Breath of the Wild. It's like well, I mean the the, the de- developer and put it there. Weird. Yeah, they put it there oh, for you to see if you're paying attention. Like, hey, if you if you take this profiteer's purse, which is supposed to give you more loot after a battle, and take it apart and just take it apart, mm-hmm. you get you get all the loot. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. it's funny. So they, they they planned on it. They knew people would be speed running. 
That, oh. And that's really good. I Tristan, mean, like, Tristan's that's just, a great thing to do. What? Tristan, oh, this is such a... I don't know. I'm, I'm really happy. This is a great episode, you guys. I think so. Fuck yeah, dude. I'm looking for somebody to raid, too, because... I mean, we don't oh have, yeah, because we're we don't have to wind down now, but like I'm thinking about it. Oh, Ludwig just went live, by the way. Um, you afraid him? He's got zero oh. viewers right. Now. Oh, do it, do it. Cool. Well, yeah. right now we gotta like I'm not ready to wrap up yet. He'll have like 40k but... before uh, a minute. So. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, you're not. Oh, Ludwig, yeah. I'm like, why do I know the Ludwig. name? Like, there's, there's Ludwig, a if you go yeah. to TwitchRaids.com, there's like this whole thing where. They're like every five minutes there's a new streamer and you like you raid this person. Yeah, just saying, Chris Corey did just go live too. I was thinking about that too. Yeah, he raided. Feline he just went live too. Him, so I'm just gonna keep raiding him back and forth until. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He. Uh, I. I always raid into Chris Corey, but like I always like in my stream as soon as he's starting his and shit like that. He's like, I gotta catch right. you, man. Yeah. So he's, I. I like I fucked up last time too, so I, I owe him one where I catch him. Yeah. Exactly. And then he raids me right as I'm gonna finish up, and I end up going an extra two or three hours. Well, I think the I think the funny thing is, uh, just the other day, uh, I raided him as well. I raided him when he was playing Dark Souls. Yeah, I mean that's nice. that's a good dude. So I'm just, yeah. I'm just oh yeah, definitely. We definitely Chris don't have to. We don't have to. We don't have to do it now because I'm having too much fun. Oh, of course, yeah. I I was I yeah I was just saying. You mentioned I was like, like hmm, honestly, what? I'm just, I'm just really happy with how this whole thing looks, and I'm just watching it back on Twitch. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying, I'm missing Pog Champs to be here. How okay? does this look full screen? Yeah, because I never, you and me both, Jeffy. I don't, I, I don't Great. get to. Watch, I work here. I don't like. I don't get to watch the show like full screen until like I'm uploading the VOD. That, that looks great, and I'm like, hey, this actually looks good. Oh yeah, I, I I love the background. I I absolutely love the the overlay. Um, Thank you. I, I like the edges. I'm, I think I'm like gold is going over top of the the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Canva, shameless plug for Canva. They're not paying me. Whatever. Who cares? Uh, <laughs> they let you like they let you make the background transparent. But okay, don't don't be full. Like you have to. Uh, this was a TikTok, right? They didn't tell you. They didn't tell me. You have to go give them a credit card and do your thirty day free trial. But like in 30 days, you can make a shit ton of overlays and stuff for free. Um, so you make you go to that, you do the thing, you move around the assets, you make the background transparent, and then I'm like, well, what 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 background do I want, right? So I made the background like a separate image, and I was able to just download them both together, uh, which was really nice. You don't have to do that, but I made sure that everything fit together in the thing, and then yeah. I separated them. Mm -hmm. So now like the the cool gold stuff sits over us. And then the chalkboard is that's all it is is a chalkboard is all the way in the back of the image. So it's just yeah. it's just sandwiching the Yeah. So that's how the I mean everyone gets real quiet when I tell see how the sausage is made. Anyway. No, it's okay. My no, main I was goal just is to blow up very... and then act like I don't know nobody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also noticing in the upper left hand corner the image cuts off. That's that's really bothering me now. No, it's okay. I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna make a bunch more. <laughs> I, uh, I, whenever I came on Streamlabs, um, it was right before they like locked a bunch of fucking overlays and a bunch of like fucking themes behind a paywall. Yeah, yeah. I like I grabbed up this one. It was a RuneScape. <laughs> it was a RuneScape background, <laughs> and awesome. it was yeah. So that's what my channel is. It's like the dark borders with like the, I don't know if you ever noticed it, but I have like a moving background of like, it's like smoke and like fog moving in the background and shit. I didn't notice, but now I'm going to. Oh God. Because I don't get to watch Jeffy full screen either. I have to like, I have to watch in a tiny I'm little usually thing. usually on my phone. Yeah. With the, with the, with the chat going. Cause I'm normally lurking for people. <laughs> you, you can really see it whenever like I go into like my BRB screen or the boss battle screen that I have and shit. Oh, see, I noticed oh, then I didn't notice be... like when you're actually like, would that cause be... you have like the, if I found something similar, would that look cool behind this thing? If like, if the chalkboard kind of moved a little bit or would that be weird? So. I'll try it because it's either like chalkboard or like leather tome, you know. Like if this was an actual like matte thing for like tarot, it'd be like leather, and like I, I like the chalkboard. I think that looks great. Yeah, thank you. I, I, I like the black and the the black and gold. Always a classy choice. It was originally oh, pink yeah. and it looked good, but I'm like, I'll make a few colors and see if I like. And I just made the gold one first, and I'm like, no, that was 
Make the gold and then mute it. Some straight up Gatsby stuff. Uh, So I'm doubling down into the whole occult thing and I want to do like a conspiracy cast where we're wearing foil hats. You know, it'd be really cool too. I don't know how we would, we would animate it, but to do like the uh, don't starve together style, like art where it's like cut out, but it's the tentacles. So it just moves up and down. That's what they're like cutouts. Cause now, yeah, I'm thinking about, I didn't even think about that, but don't starve kind of fits exactly what I want. Yes. That art. Yeah. That could be really cool. <clears throat> but it's got to look like you you cut it out of paper and it's just. The, I like that the hands they're about to clap uh, back at all the worst enemies. Lol. But I, Dre, <laughs> I think of it as like, look at these assholes. <laughs> or if you read chat coming up, it's like, look at this bullshit. But yeah, dude. I love it. I love it. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, you guys can always tell me that I did a good thing. Well, you can always compliment me. Well, I think I'm going to go back to Canva today when this is done. I think I'm going to work on some more, like I'll work on a speci- like a game specific. Oh man, that's a that a game that that unmuted. What's up? You said I'm going to work on a game specific, and then overlay, you... and then I realized there was a background noise, and this ring oh. thing was un- unmuted, and then I got really bummed. Oh no! Oh. But yeah, just it's pulling random, random channels from Twitch every five minutes. Uh, huh. Nice. Because I'm just thinking, like, who? That would be cool to just hit a random button. When you're dead. Yeah. You gotta be careful with that shit, though. You're dead, uh, Mike. Because I have, I have. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Yeah, I was like, I saw it, I was like... My soul is slogging through oatmeal! (laughs) I'm just doing my job, everybody. Oh, man. No, you're good. At least, like, you interrupt with something funny, I just interrupt. I'm just watching a dude play Dark Souls. (laughs) Get get off of that. You gotta, oh, you gotta be careful with random, uh, random raids. Because there's some people that like, they're like, I don't know. I've 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 oh. rated some random people before where it's like, <clears throat> like they like they were super uncouth or I mean they were, they were not nice. Um, and, this person wasn't not nice, but like he got like fourteen thousand people, like down from however many from Wubby, and like his overlay, he like had uh, just a picture of iCarly. But, like, as soon as you got in there, he's just like, oh, yeah, bend over, daddy, take it. Like, he's taking the raid up his ass. And he did that for, like, five minutes. And I'm just thinking, like, dude knows how to clear out 10,000 people. <laughs> yeah, he does. That's right. Wow. <laughs> like, you just, like, and now that dude is suggested to me, like, in my in my feed. Like, go check out this guy. And I'm like, no, this guy's a fucking freak. Like, you just got raided, like... Some sometimes just like small people, like I do the thing and I dance and I make the things, and like they'll get like randomly fourteen thousand people dropped on them, and it's sad mm-hmm. to just watch those people just go away. But like this dude was actively like, it's like, uh, dude, you just got handed a fucking sack of gold and you just yeah you just fucked the, it all this up. This guy is literally a Cards Against Humanity card. Oh my god! When you when you get raided, and you take the raid up the ass, and he's like raid for Carly. It was so weird that I, uh, his, his obsession, like, every time this happens, Carly gets bigger. Like, I don't remember what the thing was, but every time somebody does this, the image is gonna, of, of I, Carly will get bigger. So it was just, like, it was real up. creepy. Real <laughs> creepy. You just For sure. have an underage girl on your, <laughs> like, Jesus. as you're getting yeah. ass-fucked by a raid. So there there are dark corners of Twitch, oh, yeah. and uh, I have not seen them yet, but it looks well, like you have found some of them i can preview these i can hear these on the raid thing on the random raid you're right they might be assholes but i think it's like five views and under oh nice yeah. uh yeah it's been i've been, I, I've been I, I, like, I like going to my i don't know I, I like going to people that i know yeah <laughs> like, like, i love raiding squidville i love reading chris cory worse than I, I love reading you guys you know whenever you guys are online if i can catch you and shit because like i don't know it, it feels like i'm putting my viewers in good hands you good know what point. i mean good yeah point. like community right i thought about that too it's like it's it's 
yeah i just got these i just got these strangers in the raid or these strangers in my show and it's like now i have to like i have to like shepherd them into something else you know what i mean like this person also speaks for me like and they're they're in good hands you're in good hands with chris Corey or feline soul i mean feline soul fucking nuts but feline soul if you're into that yeah i don't think i've ever watched feline soul you haven't? Oh, feline's great. Dude, you gotta go there and say hi, and he'll give you like a fucking five minute puppet intro. Dude, that Love is it. like, oh, oh, that's that, oh, that guy you were talking about. Yeah, dude, Wakanda <laughs> forever. Um, oh my god, that guy. Yeah, I forgot. Oh fuck yeah, I forgot about that guy. Um, I wish feline. that cop was on right now. Oh my god, I'd all I threw you all at the cop. There's oh, this, night cop. Night cop thirty four. Is this guy that I watch? His name is uh, Cardboard Arm Man. And, and anytime he gets a new follower, he welcomes them into Cardboardia. But now he's like, he's like a thirty average viewer streamer now. He mm-hmm. where he used to not be. So like before, like this would happen like once a stream, maybe once every two streams. But now it's happening every like ten seconds. <laughs> and he's like, oh, okay, God. I can't because I was there for the discussion where he's like, I'm getting a lot more followers now, and I can't welcome everybody into cardboard because it's like a three minute thing where he like he's put up borders the, 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 hey guys the cops hour on in an hour and 20 if we want to wait uh <laughs> maybe i don't i don't have an hour well i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna do after this if anyone wants to like watch more chrono cross i just i might have to like actually do stuff to make the show better instead of 15, 15 more hours of Chrono Cross. That's the thing that I always struggle with is like, should I work on my overlays and like everything, or should I just go live? Which one's better for the stream? I was it's like, I was mid working on it, and then I'm like, Tristan's like, you can you can, you can prep the thing, but hit hit, hit go live, and then uh, edit the window, and then like get it ready for when you're gonna go live, and then I accidentally hit go live with all my shit like <laughs> half. I'm like, I guess I guess I'm doing this now. Shit. Uh-huh. And that turned into 15 hours. <laughs> oh, damn. That's crazy. But yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Should I like do the thing or should I mm-hmm. play the game? No, I, yeah. I mean, I almost I almost did this morning. If I wasn't so dead tired, I was like, man, I never streamed at like 8 in the morning. That's fun. Let's do it. And then I didn't because I was hungry and tired. So I didn't do it. But I, have, I haven't done a morning stream in a long time now. It's been like two or three weeks. I worry about that because it's like I don't want to, I don't want to like oh go over, and then like not actually prep the show and then split the audience because I've never had to worry like I've never had to even think about splitting the audience. Oh, yeah. like if you do different times. Yeah. Sorry, Jeff. Oh yeah, and that's I mean that's essentially what I was saying too. Is just like I don't know. It always feels weird. It's like. It, I'm always live whenever people. I, I'm always rating. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Always, always ra- rating, never rated. You know, like <laughs> oh, always the bridesmaid. Yeah, always the bridesmaid, never the bride. No, but no, but seriously though, I Jeffy, like, I'll, I, I'll I rate have that finger I, if I'm up, if I'm up that. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate it. I'll take that rate at my hand <laughs> <laughs> for iCarly. Sorry, <laughs> bud. Got it. I will drive away all your viewers. <laughs> oh man. Well, they're mostly yours because. Well, you're just... <laughs> if you look at the thing, it's like, oh what shit, worse yeah, rating, what, and what then you we... just flip. Yeah, it's like it's like, uh, what do my viewers have in common? How many viewers do I have in common with this channel? It's like Squidville. It's like ninety four percent. Yeah, <laughs> like, like I almost have them all. Yeah, it's like we have the same viewers, <laughs> which is great because you know I go live at like seven to ten, and Squidville is like nine fifteen, nine thirty to whatever. So like they get to like start their stream like fifteen thirty minutes in, and then I normally raid them, you know, and shit like that. So like we help each other out and shit, and then like obviously they're always inviting me to do shit, and like they promote mm-hmm. they promote me, and like you know, but I and obviously I'm not rating them because they promote me, but because well, yeah, they're yeah, good. Of course, yeah, you know, um, but it's boys supporting boys, you know, and it's I'll like, get to do a rhythm for sure. Like this will fucking awesome. This will get yeah, into something are. like you know, yeah, like three up moons on like. I like I like three up moon a lot. How did you like a uh, Viper Carter last night? That was Viper awesome. Carter's I was awesome. too tired to I was too tired to like schmooze and meet everybody, but I'm like, oh, this is this is really good. Dude, I'm gonna be dude, up after you left. He he had a hype of train to start. Of course, of he course. Hype train, like, like I threw I threw like fifty or bitties at him, and then like 
someone else gifted a sub and then like a hype train started and we were like he's like how the fuck did this happen he's like oh well and then and then he performed a concert for 25 minutes i love of, it like oh, style see, just, and it was, like beats and shit that's and a, it was it was so much fun i had to go to it was like 5 a.m i was like he was talking also, about Dre, his- yeah <laughs> that that's yeah. how i feel too you're just hungry and tired. Well, that's that, just a that man oh, it's a can, perma mood. <laughs> that man can pull that many people at like the 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 dead hour. Like they're like yeah, four, a... four a.m. Eastern. That's that's the twelve hours after the big. I know Viper because uh, Squid. It was a Squidville raid. It actually it might have been that big day where uh, I was going, and then we raided into you, Jeffy, and then we raided into Squidville, and then we raided into Viper, and it was, yeah. it was quite the train. Man. They, they raided into Viper a lot. I've raided into him like twice, I think. Um, just whenever like Swivel's not live and he's live, I'm like, what's up, Viper? Uh, he's he's one of my favorite streamers. Him and Cardboard Arm Man, those guys are like the next fucking like big streamers. Like they they are on like oh, their yeah. path to partner. Like those guys deserve like two three k viewers easy. That's you right. know what I mean. I, I think I, you know like my content. I don't think I deserve two three k viewers. Those guys are fucking talented. Like like. Like Viper Carter, he has the, like the freestyle, and he's just funny as hell. Like he have you is... heard his McDonald's song. I have. You have? Yeah. Yes. And I I think that he is just talented as fuck. Mm-hmm. Let's just send it to him, <laughs> so I get on his good side. <laughs> yeah, I was even like Jeffy's idea. Jeffy did it. Jeffy did it. So why well, I, I didn't know if you knew him, and I was like, I I I was like Elliot will love this guy. I was like, I he did. is fucking a great streamer. So oh, I did. I was like, I was like, have, do you know him? He's alive. Because you were like, there's like some random people here that I could raid. And I was like, or there's my boy over here. Oh, man. Uh, so. Yeah, it's, it's, talking shop, talking turkey. Talking turkey. Yeah. I love to talk turkey, dude. Oh, yeah. I am so hungry, too. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> I do. Yeah. Speaking of turkey. <laughs> but that's weird to like watch somebody and be like, does this, this person have it? Does this like, like, yeah, I, I, I don't. So I don't have it, but like, I don't know. I could, I just like, I'd see, I see, I could do it while he does, but I don't. Yeah. I didn't. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, I could see well, myself in that slot, but like, it's too close to me. But seeing like, I don't know, I see a few people who have it, but like, you're right. The four thousand, is that what they? I don't know. Yeah. Well, like Viper and like Harbor Army, they both have like over two thousand followers and shit, and like they're they're pulling like thirty, forty average viewers, I think, somewhere around there. And like cardboard arm man, like like I mean, a lot of it is like just blowing up on like social media, because like mm-hmm. he had a Twitter video and a TikTok that like blew up. It was like him. Someone played a fart sound effect, like I have in my stream. They played it when he was like in Warzone and like he shot a shotgun and screamed fuck like it was very loud and it was like the funniest fucking thing ever. <laughs> oh, like like it was like someone like it was like a loud ass fart too. It was like <laughs> and he like fuck <laughs> and then he shot his shot. But he got he got like a million views on TikTok or something. As like a result 000, of that like views on TikTok from like that clip. Like and then he got like fucking six hundred new followers for, on Twitch from it. Oh, that's a yeah, I don't like that. I just also don't think this is very clippable. Like, no, no, well, like, like this kind of content isn't. Oh. And that's like, I just I detest TikTok, and I'm like, how do we? How do you carve a path when you just don't do any of the normal things? How yeah. do you? How you carve a chill path? Yeah, man, just a chill it, path. It, it, years. years, years of work. Years because like years like, of being a lot chill. Of approach a lot of people approach Twitch and they say, oh, I want to become famous. Because yeah. I've heard I've heard stories about people who just come famous overnight. Yeah. It's like that's like a point one point zero 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 one percent of they Twitch streamers. The Minecraft yeah. algorithm and they cheated. Yeah, exactly. It's like no, I'm sorry. It's are, are you gonna bring it here? Is that an offer? <laughs> you gonna bring that shrimp toward me? Because you know, it just it doesn't it just doesn't work that way. Like yeah. like. Yeah, yeah, you don't just come here and yeah, because I mean, like for me, like I've been streaming since you mean, the you beginning, mean, you mean end of August. Hot, around there. Yeah, hot redhead Twitch girls don't just bring you tortellini. That doesn't work that way. 
Sadly, no. Aww. <laughs> Sadly, no. Man, I'm uh, just working on this bullshit. Like, Tristan, say words. What? What, what do you need me to say? Oh, you're good. Uh, okay. Jeffy, Jeffy, say words. I'm saying some words right now. Hey, I'm gonna say some words. You see that fucking green bar by the side of my head that I missed? Yeah. That bothers me. It's okay. Oh. So which one's me? I didn't. I didn't even notice it. Yeah, until you said something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, I didn't even notice it until I said something. But, but like I was saying though, it takes like, it's like it's extreme. Like like we were talking about Ludwig earlier. He's been fucking streaming mm-hmm. for like seven fucking years. Oh yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. It's like every like every like every like four or five years or something like that. It's like, and he he was sitting around like sixty viewers and like. You know, eventually, like, and then he got partner, and then he was sitting around like two, three hundred, and then he blew up. You know, and it was like where he like started like sh- streaming with like more like bigger streamers and shit. Because it's from Discord, Crystal, that does that when you talk. <laughs> yeah, well, then, but that's the, that's the whole the whole success story isn't always like you know, uh, the heart. Like, I mean, these are all talented people, right? Yeah. But because of how quick it is. It almost seems like you know it's an overnight success story, yeah. and uh, you can't track the, the the progress because it happens so quickly. Yeah, well, I think a you lot know? of people also watch YouTube videos and shit, and yeah. then like they see like, oh man, this guy got like super famous. It's like he used to not get this, and now like two months later, he has like millions of views, and yeah. it's like right. that doesn't track because like he's still been streaming for like years on Twitch. Yeah. Is YouTube like people don't start like YouTube shit? Like, like I would love to start like a YouTube shit, but honestly, I just don't have the content to make a YouTube channel. So you know what I mean? That's like clip highlights and shit. That's right, it. Yeah, right, clip, right. So, yeah. Well, then what we were saying about someone was saying about like having a communal Discord. What if we like band together? I mean, like look at what offline TV did. They, yeah, they took a bunch of like no yeah. name, who cares, Asian kids, and just put them all in a house, and then they act like <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I mean, you can, like a bad you can, you can take it, you can take it <laughs> the wrong way if you want. But I well, yeah, but you, you know, I, I was just, I was just laughing the way that it sounded. Yeah, I, I know things, what you meant. I say things funny ways because that's fun for me. Anyway, <laughs> you take one like <laughs> you take okay. one fucking Asian businessman, uh, Scara, and he gets a house or rents a house or whatever, and then like has everybody else's like put in a percentage or whatever. Of their fucking crazy expensive rent, and it's like two thousand dollars a room essentially, but yeah. like the, that house, who knows how much that house costs? Yeah, or how much money people make inside that house because you know, like fucking Pokimane <laughs> was in there at one point. Yeah, like, or is she still in there? I don't even know. She, she I, moved I don't out, but I've, I've been following the controversy after like Fez or Fed or whoever the fucking fuckboy of Unstoppable tried to rape them all. I'm I'm gonna drag his name to. The, I mean, you get caught. Oh, yeah. up, you get caught up in a, you get caught oh, yeah. up in fucking uh, internet Fat drama or whatever. Headmaster. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, okay. I only know about them because Michael Reeves made a laser that shines uh, a robot that shines lasers in your eye. So, like, I followed him across YouTube until he finally wound up there. Yeah. And, and then, like, he's like dating Lily Pichu or whatever. Yeah, you know, like they're mm-hmm. the most adorable couple ever. But uh, yeah, that's the only reason I give a shit about those people is because like uh, Michael Reeves is there. And that's like they, that's he doesn't make fucking YouTube videos anymore because he's playing Valorant or some shit. Well, he's playing Valorant instead of making microwaves really, that work when you scream at them. It's the best content. Why, why ah! the fuck would he? Why the fuck would he make that when he can make double, if yeah. not triple, the money from Twitch? Exactly. Point, doing just point. playing video games for but fun. But he went like crazy viral before that was a thing. He, yeah. he continued to so do he, it. He fucking doubled down. Yeah. Whereas and like I bet I'm, he. I'm starting I don't think he made a lot of, of money from YouTube. I'm starting at the other end. Podcast is normally the the end goal where you like you already have like a brand and this is low fucking <laughs> low uh, effort content. I'm starting with and, the low effort content and no brand. And, well, and I I agree with Nathan there. Like that's a good idea. The hardest part, I think, about sorry to if you want to continue, Jeffy. Are you sure? Oh, you're cutting me off oh, okay. too, though. You're not apologizing to me. Technically, that's true. Yeah, so I apologize for that as well. I was done. Um, I just wanted to make you feel bad. Okay, I already feel bad, so I'm like... <laughs> uh, Tristan, Tristan, I love Tristan, you. Tristan, you're fine. Tristan, you're the best. I'm just pushing your shit in. 
I know. I just. I. It's. I. I'm still never. I'm never gonna get used to uh, Me being, being rude. Dickhead. Like I. I have to. You yeah, know. Elliot and I are talkers. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's I why we have you be, on, but... so I can take a break. Oh, we can... <laughs> I like hearing you talk, Jeff. That's why we got the hats. I like your hat. Well, we should. I should put. Uh, no, here's here's the problem. Uh, I think I, I think I see the problem here, boys. Uh, <laughs> just just hear me out. Just hear me out. <laughs> I'm, 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 I want to see. I, I'm on a delay, so. There. <laughs> Good enough. Um, I'm still, I'm still waiting for. Yeah, if, you're, if you don't bring him down and level him out, I'm gonna scream. Okay, let <laughs> me actually do that. Yeah. Oh, did you, did you just, did you? Uh... He swapped us. Oh, that's what I figured. I, I thought maybe he muted me. He was just like, "Oh, this is the best. This is the better part." Actually, um, this is much better because now I I can look to the right finally, and I'm I don't so have sorry. To, like I have to look. See, we can. I mean, I think Tristan is doing the same thing as well. Uh, I just look at both. I go back and forth. Um, so now you're in a hat sandwich. Buddy. Jeff loves to talk. I do. God damn it! Which is now, part of the reason why I'm training. Now Jeffy's like not quite right. Same. <sighs> There we go. Uh, but like uh, I was gonna say that uh, I I agree with Nathan. The difficulty with like the whole communal thing is always gonna be like um, branding egos, things like that. Where you know, <clears throat> can you get a group of people to be like, hey, this this is because we want something you know bigger than you know. Not that everybody doesn't have their own thing and they're not big, but you know, what I'm saying like yeah. getting that many names together to. Uh, agree that like this is the thing but i fucked this whole thing up <laughs> don't forget to yeah well i <clears throat> usually i'll 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 concede i'll be like okay i was gonna say something but you we can move on like good i i want i want to know more about getting everybody to like agree on stuff yeah well and I, I love the idea i'm just you know it's the it's the concern of course of how do you get so many people because you know everybody has their own idea of how okay, things man. work and like Jeffy's just got to move off frame. I'm so sorry, Jeffy. Okay. No, uh, I'm, I, yeah, this is perfectly fine. It looks good now. I fucked up the March. I like, how are these, all of them are supposed to be the same. Something got no, fucked are. up. Something got fucked up. It looks good. It looks good right now. I know. Dreamers yeah. Requiem. Fuck yeah. What dude. Is up? I finally got to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, see, Dreamers was in there helping you with Chrono Cross, right? Oh hell yeah! Because when when I was lurking a little bit, I th I swear I saw Dreamers' name. I noticed. Yeah, yeah, playing it for a minute. Yeah. Well, I mean, I just like I don't know. I I rely too heavily on the podcast and lurking, and it's like I gotta actually do some something. I'm trying to think about something like either gameplay or something to do like 4 p.m. Sunday. Uh, I I don't I want another show another outlet because this is cool twice a week, but like yeah. I want like a big like like Friday multi streams fucking sweet that's a great idea mm -hmm. yeah like trivia with Sonic that's awesome mm -hmm. like I feel oh like, yeah I, I I saw you on there with Sonic yeah day. nice yeah I want it so then they didn't let me compete so oh, wow <laughs> it's fucking we got to put him on the back burner as much as we yeah. can. It was fucking bullshit. Here, give him some cue cards. <laughs> give him read some lines. <laughs> Bro, I made an Excel spreadsheet, Tristan, just to keep you away. Yeah, that would. That would. If, if Excel's involved, I just don't want to be there. <laughs> like, <clears throat> Papa Twitch let it through. Yeah, oh, dude. My... The zone. Yes. Oh, that's a great, that's an awesome cum joke, dude. That is pretty awesome. It's milk, right? Oh, it's baby batter. Baby but man. uh, <laughs> milk man, man milk. <laughs> but and, and... hunks milk. <laughs> yeah, but I, I mean, I, I I agree with Nathan. It's it, it just seems smarter to like Johnson Jelly. Put everybody in the same place. Um, that's why I like uh being. <clears throat> I talk to Invent, and I'm just like, can we just Trou put Blue Egg Trouser into tasties. the Red Hen co-op? Yeah, having one, and I'm slowly shutting down our our Discord that never got off the ground. So, Tra trouser tasties. <laughs> There's just like 
101 words for come. <laughs> is that, is that, are you in that? <laughs> You're in that one too? By Jeff Steinbeck? Yeah. It's a, it's a very, very famous uh, novel. It's about um, the Great Depression. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there was too much uh, po- cum. Post, the, po- the Great Post Coitus. <laughs> there was just not enough depression. cum for everybody. Yeah, there the just great, wasn't. The Great Cum Crash. <laughs> the Great Cum Crash of 1922. We bet too hard. We, we, we... came too hard. <laughs> it was a regular house of cum. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, we uh we somehow managed to uh write our movie and uh oh my It just seems to be oh, a yeah. uh, we didn't write a, a movie yet. pornography film instead. Nathan, pick a topic. We're going to write a movie real quick. We got to go no, out no, on No, no, that's 5,000 channel points. You can't yeah, get that five. out for me. Oh, Tristan's just like I have to go. Well, tr- tr- we can we can switch to a double shot and Jeffy and I can yeah. finish it. Yeah. <laughs> I I got <laughs> <laughs> go with yeah, because we're Literally. Hey man, don't let me hold you guys hostage. I, no, I'm perfectly fine. <clears throat> I mean, I, 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 I do have to head out here soon, but um, it wouldn't be hostage a hostage situation. It'd be more like, hey, I head out usually at five. I want a hundred pizzas, and I want a, a helicopter, and I want uh, the mayor's daughter. <laughs> you got it. Turn, now just turn yourself in. The White Tiger King. My power grows when we have that one. Oh white tigers. You know. <laughs> only white, only okay. white tigers Pretend shall be allowed in the White Tiger Kingdom. Is a turkey. Brown tigers <laughs> shall be let into clean. I do not believe that you know. Oh my god, it's so juicy. Know. Which mayor? Uh question you hear me <laughs> can i just have a mayor's daughter i don't care which one which one can you, can you guys hear me yeah yes oh, sorry. Sorry. okay we're just talking over you because okay. you gotcha. are you are a titch quiet but you're normally a titch it's... quiet okay. we didn't have to ask anybody how's the audio <laughs> okay fine that's fair I, I, don't know what's up with that. I don't know why i'm a titch quiet you just normally are huh. got, even on your own damn stream you're just a little quiet that's kind of how quiet. you speak but it's kind of just mm. like a whole problem with your being. Well, okay. Sweet, thank you. It's, it's all your fault. It's hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. Well, you know what? Dreamers Requiem's got my damn back. How about that? Yeah. If anything, Elliot needs to stop talking so loud. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa. <clears throat> but no, We're um, hot takes. I always have this problem with my mic because I am kind of fat and I. I breathe in sometimes, oh, yeah. and my mic picks it up, and I'm like, I hate that so much. So like, I turn my mic down to where it doesn't pick up my breathing so much. Okay. Mm-hmm. And also, I have like a deviated septum, I believe. So like, oh, my geez. nose inhale is super whistly and sharp. Uh, so how'd you do that? I, I uh, probably a tennis racket to the face. Uh, oh, that might have been I it. was thinking yeah. you were just quoting uh, heavyweights. No. Oh. No, I uh, or not a tennis racket, a mitten racket to the face back in high school. I, think I, it have it to me. I never got it. Oh, really? Jeez. Yeah. It's just like I can't breathe through my right nostril, really. So. Oh, man. Whoops. What and I'm not going like to. The... I kind of just like discovered it. I was like, I Jeez. had to get a uh, camera shoved down my nose or up my nose and like Oof. down my esophagus, uh, like before COVID hit. And then, uh, the dude tried to shove it up my right nostril. He's like, he's like, it's not going. He's like, and then he looked through the camera. He's like, oh my God, your right nostril is blocked, dude. And I was like, oh, geez. I don't know anything about that. Jeez. A bunch of, a bunch of folks can't breathe through their nose. Yeah. I have a bone. Yeah. Bone spur. Yeah. Just like sticking straight out across like my nostril blocking it. Oh man. I, uh, dude, you I can't go to war now. Schnauz, so. What is it? My bro's got bone spurs. Can't go to war now. Yeah. Just make sure Thank to God. shit yourself, and then you'll never have to go. Ted Nugent. <laughs> exactly. Oh, God. But no. Oh, jeez. Uh, oh man. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of pasty whites. A lot of a. Uh... A lot of specific kind of white people, Jeffy. Dude, I got enough. Certain for, like, kind of. 
heavy set, makeup wearing. I'm setting you up. Fine. Thank God I called that guy. Fine, I'll fucking do it myself. Sorry. I'm setting you up, Jeffy. Set me up for what? Disperse, Juggalos. <laughs> back to your hovels. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I, back I, to I, your I refrained parents, from playing Juggalos. <laughs> Be gone. You have refrained from... You street urchins! <laughs> Hashtag older white guy problems. Oh yeah. Just stuff yeah. just starts falling off. Yeah. It's like it's like back problems for men. It's like Oh that's it's just gonna happen. That started early for me, but that's because yeah. of other reasons. Ah. I I was uh I was having it real bad at the beginning of this year during when COVID first hit because I had like, you know, this desk job and i was just at home and i didn't have a proper office chair or like any kind of prop so i was just sitting in a kitchen table chair oh working. geez Ooh. yeah my back like eventually just started locking up every day and i was just like my back and then i had i bought this gaming chair and dear god this thing is so nice and comfy oh, oh dear lord i, I love sitting and then i also bought another chair over here that dre sits in uh, so we have two office chairs now. Oh, I need to invest oh, nice. in it. This chair is older than my last computer. This okay. is, uh... Oh, this is mahogany. Have, Rethe? Mine reclines. Oh, Cubone! Where's my... Oh, you want to see my hat? Here. Cubone, what okay. are you doing on Tuesdays and Fridays between the hours of 2 and 4? There we go. Possibly 5. There's my hat. PM Eastern. This could be you, Cubone. This could be you. <laughs> you could have all of the hats. You could have this spot. You could be where Jeffy is, or possibly where Tristan is. Working, then twerking. Or somehow magically where I am. Yeah, yeah one of those. Who's one of those pushing spots. the buttons then? Who pulls the strings if I'm not here? Who watches the Working, watch then twerk. If Geppetto's not in the workshop. Hopefully you're doing well, Cubone. Oh, hell yeah. Hey, Cubone. <laughs> working, then twerking. <clears throat> Rathay, you've never covered it left square. <laughs> What's that? that? You've never looked better. <laughs> so... Oh, that's that's good. Oh that's my God. good. You're like you're about to fight the Undertaker. We need just to oil you up, dude. Hey, this is Kane, dude. Taker. Covered it. <laughs> I, I used to be middle square, but I changed to the right square. Yeah, dude, you're ostracized because you're the guest. You're over there. You have to sit <laughs> by Tristan. Is Kane with uh, the Is Kane with uh, Let's do a Let's yeah. do a high five. Oh no, shit! Wrong, wrong. Uh, oh fuck! I I can't like. Okay. Can we line it up? Uh, is it? Oh, you're I'm over off, here. I'm you're off. over here, right? You're over Smoke here. Weed every day. Correct. Okay. Elliot, please join us. Ratha, you got to do two hands. Oh, shit. Smoke you're right. Okay. I'm in a glass case of emotion. I got to get it wow. sized. My God. Elliot's got small hands, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not very presidential. I'm also just trying to figure out three dimensional space. Eh. If I just do this enough, it'll eventually line up, right? True. I got to, like, <laughs> Get it closer to the camera, but then like you're you're yeah. doing the Discord, Reve. You need to do the stream. <laughs> yeah, you're doing the Discord, bro. You're doing it wrong. I, but the stream is on a delay. Yeah, exactly. It's so hard. You gotta be. You gotta be Jozu. He's like he's inside of us. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. I'm like in a box. Ooh. One of those hit. Yeah, we got it. I I felt it. Hypothetically. <laughs> well, this is an awkward. I'm just gonna start <laughs> soundboarding. Will we? I'm just trying to hold each other's hands. I'm just trying to get some human contact in COVID, dude. Oh, wow. a tongue, a tongue five. Just how does Owen Wilson feel about that? Wow. Hey, Jeffy, I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I'm infringing on your trademark. Nut. Oh yeah. Nut. 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 Hey, we do have you a cool. We do have a really cool hat. Sanders going on. Nut. What's up, Tristan? What's up? I, I just I came back from a very weird place. It's look... very weird behind this hair. <laughs> Cubone got so... yeah, Cubone's I just played the Pornhub music. We got a nice hat <laughs> sandwich going on, Tristan. <laughs> Dun, dick, da, da. That bro. <laughs> That's gross. 
Oh, God, my, my head is so damn hot. Oh, my God. You broke first, you pussy. Sorry. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Fuck it, dude. Oh, my God, my head. Oh. I got a hat For what line. What little beard I have left on my head, it gets so hot. I got a hat line. Yeah, I, I also had the... <laughs> Right here. Oh, is that a is that a channel points thing where we wear? I have one hat, two hats, I guess. I just don't have hats on me, but what, I can uh, bring hats with me. That's what as what Squivel does. They got silly hats that's that they what, wear. That's what Cubone does. We're infringing. It doesn't, We're infringing. <laughs> it doesn't go over my headphones, so. <laughs> over... It's better when you put it over your headphones like that. <laughs> I'm trying. But I got some I, I, thick headphones. Okay. I feel like group up people uh, being a cult. Oakley Doakley. So oh, yeah. Inspired metal. Oh, God, speed, little doodle. Oh, my God. Pretty great. I need to, I need to fix my lighting because I got a new camera. Like I said at the top of the episode. But I just feel like I'm not... I'm not getting the most out of it that I could get. So Man, you guys are doing better than me. This is just a really bright bulb above this me. This soundboard sucks. So what's, what's your what's your room look like with the light off? Are we just all going to go dark? <sighs> oh, damn. Dark and dreary. Once upon... Dude, we should do like a horror movie like a... Oh, I'm still I'm... pale enough that you can see, though. My screen's... <laughs> oh, oh. This this screen is bright, so let me just darken. Is that. this a shutting down the show? Like we just turn out all the lights. Put the chairs down, sweep the floor. Ooh. But if I do this, I can make it on my <laughs> own. <laughs> now till they lock the You can't see doors. me at all. No, he's a mystery man. Who is I'm he? I'm gonna I, I got, I'm gonna laugh and hidden. Uh, this wallpaper is too bright. You can actually see how bright my wallpaper is. There we go. No, you can't see me. You can't see me. There we go. And now I'm the a beacon of light in the dark. Oh shit! You guys turned it off. Oh. <laughs> oh. I thought I thought, I thought Elliot turned his light back on. No, are my... we just like are we protected? My wall, my something? wallpaper was too bright. See how bright that is? Oh my god, that's so bright. <laughs> Wait, hang on. I got this. So I opened up a Firefox like <laughs> tab without any, without anything in it. If I do it on the other side, then you can't see. I can't see how dark I am. Okay. Now we're in a we can see like we can still see just a little. <laughs> you guys can't even see me on the stream now. Oh. And then, the man with the golden butt plug stole <laughs> all the prostates. Stay a while and listen. Whoa! <laughs> the show is... should have ended thirty minutes ago, it but it keeps have. going. And kept saying he needed to go, in but a, we kept talking. In a world, the Kentucky goodbye. This fall, I wonder how this looks. They'll never let you leave. Oh, but... oh that looks okay. Yeah. Are you? Oh, yeah. Oh god, the, the the strangely racist version of Are You Afraid of the Darks? Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> the the poorly named show. Yeah, that, uh... <laughs> ruin it with an S. Oh man. I miss I miss at midnight midnight so much. Ruin it with a letter or like ruin it with a Are You Afraid of the Darks? That'd be dope. <laughs> That's a solid answer. I think I think this looks much better than my overhead light on. Yeah, but you're just not as bright as us, so that's the only problem. True. True. That that is a problem. Let me so let me, let me uh, drop this to auxiliary. In. Let me drop it's into fine. auxiliary substations. I, I think I think what's killing you is uh, the my, window. My giant. Yeah, I have to compete with the window. Dude, I should just sit there, and that's my fucking balance. Could be. Rathe, we, you got you get the ghoul hands. But then I don't know where to put my shit, because then you're just looking into my kitchen. Yeah, they're very ghoul like. Oh, cool hands. Oh man. And then I, I just uh, take them away, they're very 
Well, I gelled my hair and now it's fucked, so I knew this would happen. I have a I have like two sets of blackout curtains in my office. I am jealous. I used to Those have blackout nice. curtains. I used to Oh, pretty, I should just go buy them. Uh-huh. I should just go get blackout curtains. I'm really cheap on Amazon. Or, like, move my whole room around. I'm also thinking, like, if I just move the desk, like, over there-ish, then the back, then the thing's bigger, and I can, like, mm-hmm. decorate it better. But then, like, then I'm in a weird island. Yeah. It's also a lot of work. Yeah. yeah. A lot of work for something I might not like. And plus, then everything's just going to be falling off the back of my desk. <laughs> oh right! Oh, you're gonna I think. You're, uh, yeah, Dad, Dad's we're just, shutting us we're down. We're just going until Tristan says no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, no, it's been a, it's been a great episode, and uh, thank you so much for being here again, Jeffy. We really appreciate it, especially so last minute. Uh, <clears throat> hey, it's okay. Elliot said you guys got canceled on a little bit, and uh, yeah. So yeah, I was uh, like, hopefully uh, everybody's you know, day like turned out okay, because like. Uh, yeah, because uh, one had a thing and the other had a thing. It's just if you have when you have things. If you can't, I mean, I don't want to like anyone's business, but mm-hmm. yeah, of course. Like, but yeah, that happens. So we just you just gotta like Jeffy's always waiting in the wings where he's like, someone's gonna get food poisoning, and then it's Jeffy time. Someone's gonna poison the water supply. <laughs> Episode twenty, there. Jeffy time. <laughs> it was like twenty five. We, we, we had a big one. <laughs> Hey, listen, if you want me on every fifth episode, just let me know. I'll plan around it. <laughs> well, I mean, like, I didn't want to wake you up at 1.30, but I'm like, what if he actually wants to be here? And then he gets mad that he missed it. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Well, like, I think whenever you mentioned that, you had no clue about my sleep schedule. And you were like, hey, you want to come on the show? And I was like, I've been a delinquent. And I've been <laughs> uh, sleeping from 8 a.m. Or like, or, like, 10 a.m. to, like, 6 p.m. <sighs> <laughs> and, like, I've been sleeping during the day like a vampire. And just not doing that. I just need yeah. to get different light bulbs. Man, you like you and Tristan both, man. I at least still managed to get up before 10 a.m. I don't know. Like, the sun shines through my window, and I'm like, okay, I guess I'm awake now. Back I went to bed curtains. at 5 a.m., bros, and I got up at, like, 8.30. Like, 8.30, 8 30, 8 9.30. Because, like, my, I'm just like, okay, I can, I, can, I can force myself back to sleep, but then I'm just going to hurt. Because I yeah. like it's it yeah like my mattress kind of sucks, <clears throat> my like my oh. back just hurts. Oh god, dude! I gotta like I gotta roll over. It's like this side starts hurting, so I roll over, and then this side starts hurting. So yeah, I feel like, I feel like a mattress is one of those things that you you need a good one. And it's like, it's, it's a king size. It's just like not. It's like too firm, I guess. Yeah. Oh, I love a firm bed. Oh god. Yeah. 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 Dude, I I can't I can't do soft beds. They kill me. I, I, I gotta have I like, a rock bit. I like how it looks like you and I are just looking at each other like behind Tristan. Oh my God. Dude, look at this guy. Oh man. It's He's like one to go and leave. Past... And we're not yeah, leaving. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we're gonna talk yeah. about mattresses for thirty minutes. Tristan, you can go. If you, if you have to go, just fuck off and we'll let me... I know. Well yeah, I, I can. I just He's gonna all, to make sure. all like <laughs> Let me out of here. Well no, I just you know Okay, let's it, you can wrap it up. I'm just waiting for someone to end the show because I don't like uh, I don't like ending the show. Well, then I'll do it once again. Thank you so much for being here, Jeffy. We appreciate it, and uh, everybody for stopping by. Uh, Zombie Girl Dreamers, Neon, Nathan, um, <clears throat> and uh, Cubone. And uh, if I'm forgetting anybody, I apologize. Um, but it's been a great 15th episode. It has, and thank you guys so much for having me. Oh, I hey. <laughs> and then Neil shows up right as we're ending it. <laughs> oh, and Chris Cor- Chris was here. Oh, yeah. He was uh, here, yeah. Well, we're going to we're going to we're going to drop it and we're going to pick a going to pick a winner, a winner, winner chicken dinner. So, I'm ending